My my toes. Your toes popping though right now. Mine? I know. What you mean right now? But if you want to stay Wait, how do you find some braiding hair that got a four at the top? You see because I'm hecka raw. Uh, because. You don't see, worry about how. That's why I never got uh, ombre hair because it's always like a 1B. Well, that's just because like it's the 30 color like mixed in with the 1B. This is supposed to be a 1B 30, but it just looks lighter because the, the 30 is kind of like mixed in at the top. Uh, Oh, but that's why you never got ombre hair? Yeah, because it's, it, it's too dark. It's too dark, I mean, yeah. I guess I could do it, but... Yeah. So, y'all, I literally got to finish this in two hours. It's popping. You could probably finish that. I could for sure finish it in two hours. One hour. You said you wanted jumbo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, start forgetting. Okay, because you see, this one here is like a 1B. Maybe I won't use that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that looks different. Yeah, that in the middle. That's a different brand, brand though. I gave her scrippity scraps. Scrippity scrap hair. Ah, now you get the scrippity scrap. You get the scrippity scrap hair. Next time you get scraps. Just let me like this and put some edges on my edges and then we can go. <laughs> oh, you want this half up, half down right here? Yeah, like oh, that. Oh, <laughs> yes. You won't even know what you like that. Oh. Is that cash in there working? No, this is the, the line. Oh. I'm like, that, he's still upset. Right. He's still bad. He needs some dog mail. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Duff Ass Panic, back with another bald headed bitty. Today, I'm doing, <laughs> <laughs> today, I'm doing large knot list. She wearing Gucci frames, but she, just kidding. They don't, I can't buy hair at the store. I mean, like, yeah, they don't where it'll be like on my head and I won't have to take it out. You want her to put that wig on you? I think that'd be cute. You want me to put a wig on you? Oh, that wig that I did on Facebook? They had a humpback, humpback. Bruh. You should do that. That wig was trash. I'm so glad I didn't use that on myself. <laughs> Look, I'd rather use that on Chida. She wrong. So since you're going to be back in a couple weeks with these large knowledge, you know that, right? Yeah. And I'm going to be booked and busy. Yeah. So I'll see you in a couple months. But you want like seven, eight braids? Ooh, damn. Four, five braids. Yeah, just give me big, two two big five two big dookies. Yeah, Wait, big. have y'all seen that hairstyle where it's four knotless braids? It's that. like one, two, three, four. Y'all yeah. haven't seen that? Absolutely. I seen it going around on Instagram. My best friend keep calling me. What you want? She miss you, babe. Face on Nikki, baby. She might have something, baby. No, she always want a last minute hair appointment. Like, no, and I can't do hair on Friday. Hold this for me. <laughs> you and I can't do hair on Friday. What? Because you keep calling me, so what? Girl. What's that? I said what I said. I said, you know, somebody, um, is, are, the store, are the hair stores open in Richmond? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Because our hair store's not open. Oh. Yeah. I didn't hear you on Okay, let me call you back, though, because I'm on live and I'm trying to finish this hair by uh, 7. I'll call you later. Okay. See, she don't want nothing. Girl, I hate clients who can't hold their neck down. Like, <laughs> say hold your head down. You look with your eyes. Oh, you thin back here. I know. You see that? I don't know why you're thinning back there. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's wrong. It's been thing. doing that though, huh? Yeah, like now that I've like noticed, it's been like that for like a year though. Uh, now that I kind of think about it. I don't know why though. Why is you watching the live back, China? Like you wasn't in there. No, I'm not Let me get that hair tie off your wrist. I'm thinking I'm trying. Come to up off that hair tie, please. Yes. Is mine. Okay, and I'll give it back to you. I don't believe that you will, and I'm gonna have to rob you for three of them. Oh. No, hair ties is hard to come by, sis. Exactly, and I need that one because I don't know where my other ones are. <laughs> I just wanna put a disclaimer: I am bald headed, so if y'all wanna come for me, y'all can pull up to my house. Shut up! Nobody's even coming for you. They said you have nice soft hair. Yeah, her hair, um, was about to say, her hair is a little thin just right here. Y'all could kind of see. I don't know why, though. Like, why are we doing that? What's the issue? I think, like, it's karma from always talking about me and calling me <laughs> bald headed. Your hair is slowly trickling. I might have to just dry kidding. my hair off again. Like, She's hair. also light skinned, so I feel like when I part, her scalp turns red, and people are going to be like, why is her scalp so red? Yeah, my, I just be have my ears. Yeah. Because. Because. Somebody says she need a hug. 
Aww. Yeah, don't start don't start coming in here acting like y'all got all y'all hair because half of y'all edges is missing in this comment section right now. So don't let's not come in here. Let's not come in here on a thousand. Chani, you in the live? Because I might need a moderator in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm in there. Because y'all can't get blickety blocks. Don't block him if Don't block him if it's funny though. <laughs> y'all can talk about her. Who is Dre? Hey Toya. You hey Dre. Dre. Who is Dre? Oh, I thought you said no. I ain't gonna. My lie. husband. I thought Dre. I was thinking Dre. I'm like Dre. Who? Dre. Dre and Toya is here. Oh. Oh, I'm the you can't even really tell. That is Vince. Yeah. I feel like I could tell when it's heck of hair involved. But but when you put it up too though, it was thin. Oh, oh really? Nitrous here. Nitrous what? Nitrous here. 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 Yes, I love y'all. Pop out. My moderator stay on it. Y'all, when I get, uh, let me stop saying what I'm going to do when I get rich. Because I might actually Why get Dre rich. Why about who's trying to get blocked? I'm blocking people. <laughs> I'm about to block Dre while he's talking. I'm talking about I'm blocking people. Because it's looking like I need a refill on my icy. Oh. Uh -oh. Alright, so for her hair, y'all, I'm using lock in because she has really frizzy hair. So shining jam, it's just not going to do it. It's just too, it's like water, basically. Yeah, so usually I use instant control, edge control, but... I feel like it's going to be, like, because I'm using it to, like, coat the roots, I feel like it's going to really turn white because you can't really use too much of that. Yeah. So, why is you co-signing? Because, I mean, I can say it's my personal experience. Yeah, so, I'm going to use lock-in, which is a little bit thicker than the shining gem, sweet, to really lock that hair in. You feel me? My hair is so stupid, though. It pisses me off. Yeah, her hair is different. But this is good to know because, like, not you can't use the same products on everybody's hair. So I'm using the Shining Jam to define the parts just because, like, I don't want to waste my lock-in product. Um, <laughs> I don't want to waste my lock-in product just defining, you know? Because yeah, it's expensive. It's $30 for this jar. The product itself is $20, but it's $10 to ship. So I don't really, I can't really be wasting that product, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Grab all three of them uh, strands. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, you don't have your right. In Tokyo? Oh my god. Uh-uh, my part is a little off. Tokyo? Mm -hmm. Like I said, where you get that comb from? Not the snag of tooth, baby. I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply. It comes in a pack of 12. These are like literally y'all, these are my favorite combs. I love them. Yeah, we're gonna grab all of that, sis. You know what I think it is though? My mom and my grandma have very thin hair. So I think that's probably, maybe that's just where my thin patches is. And my dad got like thicker hair. Mm. So maybe like my mama side pops up. Your hair is like, like all over. It's not hecka thick though. I feel like it looks like really fluffy, but it's like, it's kind of like how China's hair is. Yeah. You know, like it looks like a fool, but when you actually get in it. It looks like a little, it looks like a little makeup. <laughs> China is so stupid. Like. Trying to talk about when you flat iron body, it looked like a little makeup brush. Yeah, my hair used to be thicker. I mean, it wasn't the thickest, but it used to be thicker. So, like, I Ooh, used to be that's, uh, that's real nice. Period. Y'all see that, Griffiana? Hey, Pan, I have a question. First of all, I love your videos. I've been watching you for a year. It's my mask. Oh, happens. yay. Whatever Thank you. Put her down. Okay, so there's a couple reasons I didn't. Oh, I didn't uh, Great question. Oh, are you done? Are you done? Okay, so I didn't launch the edge control because number one, at the time when I was making it, I didn't even really know how to do edges. That's number one. And I felt like if I was on market and sell a product, like I need to be slaying edges. You feel me? I need to be on my sweetie. For real. Like that's how I really felt because like I wasn't even like confident doing edge control. I mean edges. Um, so what happened was when I started my edge control line, I had came up on an opportunity to start it. Like somebody was like, oh, I'm gonna help you like through everything. I'm gonna give you my vendor. Um, not give me their vendor, but they were gonna send me like all the information. And so at the time I was like, wow, like I've never had my own product. So I kind of just like jumped on it. I was like, okay, like I wanna do this, you know? And then the more I started thinking, I was like, well, how am I really gonna push this and sell this? Because like I said, I don't really like do edges like that. And the edge control was good. Don't get me wrong. Like everybody be hella liking it, but I just felt like it wasn't the first product I wanted to put out because mm -hmm. if anything, I wanted to put out my own braiding hairline first. Mm -hmm. So that's what kind of like made me kind of stray away from it. And 
I just ended up never putting it out. I just ended up giving them away. But at the time, you wasn't really into edges. Yeah, I wasn't really even into edges. I was just super excited to, like, have my own product, yeah. you know? And then on top of that, I found, like, that... So I was basically being charged a certain amount for the product, but I found out that I could get it cheaper myself by just going through AliExpress because I was going through the braider to get it. Does that make sense? Uh, and so, like, it was kind of an upcharge. So I was like, wait, I could get the same stuff myself, you know? But the... Yeah, wholesale type. So then I was like, you know, I need to do a little more research to make sure I'm not like really getting played, you know, just trying to be eager to do something that I don't really know about yet. And then I was like, I don't even know if I have a license to like resell stuff. And I did. I wasn't a licensed cosmetologist at the time. Yes, yeah, so I was like, I really need to have something to fall back on. Like, what if somebody buys this and has an allergic reaction and they want to sue me? Like, I'm fucked. You know. I see you, Drake. So yeah. That boy just blocked, out of but when it's my time to when it's my time to release or drop a product, like I'm gonna be on it. It's not as easy, I feel like, as people think. Yeah. And if I do something, like I want to do it the right way. So when it's my time to drop my stuff, like it'll be my time, you know. But it's coming. How many for these? For these, to be honest, I use scrap hair. When I it sounds so bad when I say scrap hair, it sounds like used. <laughs> But to do this, I probably would use, well, one was a full pack. I probably will use, like, two packs of the three times pre-stretch. I'll link it in the description section. Oh, yeah, I'm using lock-in. Yeah. Oh, like, how many strands you use? I use about four strands, but it really depends, y'all. It's hard to answer those questions when y'all want to see, like, the exact pieces because everybody's hair is just different. But I'll show y'all what I do for hers. I use about three to four pieces. But I'm going to show y'all because um, this is how big my pieces are. Let me show y'all this one. Like this. Can y'all see that? Okay, this is how big my pieces are. And when I pull them, you know, y'all know it's on my tray. They're all the same size. Can y'all see them right there? They're just laying on top of each other, but they're all the same size. I didn't ask you to look, so turn, please. <laughs> she like, I'm done with you. <laughs> that case. Okay, wait, let me just say these are my friends, y'all. Cause last time on my live, somebody was like, You talk to your clients so mean, like, duh, these are my friends. Like if I can't call one of my friends the B word, you're not my friend. That's, it's awkward when people that you really don't really care for call you a friend. Like, that's like an awkward so you don't really care for me because I could really make this three rows. I'm going to just leave with my one uh, braid then. <laughs> you like, at this point, I'm ready to go. I call it my duck bill and call it a day. Oh, yeah, these are my friends. They were like, you are just so rude to your clients. I would never book you. I said, you couldn't book me if you wanted to, sis. <laughs> you ain't got your coins up enough, sis. Sis, you couldn't if you wanted to, but okay. <laughs> Be quiet, Dre. You don't love me. You don't love or support me. Because, because we we live with each other. Worry about yourselves, cause they're not clients. All my clients wear a mask. You you see my videos with clients, cause they have on mask. Damn, shut up. You getting on my nerves with that. They trying me. California is open anyway. Atlanta really open. open. Atlanta. This nigga is in the club they and everything. everything. They do not. Really? Care. They in the club? The club. First they were they're doing, doing outside. They're doing hostings, bro. They were doing outside <gasps> clubs, and then now the clubs is back inside. They do what? not care. Oh. Yeah, they were doing outside clubs. Some people really don't. And Atlanta. Some people still think it's a hoax. Yeah, Houston open too. Though I, I, I think Atlanta the only one with a club open, but I think Houston be having like day parties. Like Texas. that's crazy. Girl, I, see that big I love y'all for big caring big about party. about about my safety, but when I'm in the like, salon or when I'm taking actual clients, we do wear masks. But to be honest, like if I'm around my friends or family, I'm just not wearing a mask because I'm not. It's hella. It's really hard to wear a mask all day too. Like, come on now. I be suffocating after three minutes. So, like, that's true. Walk in the store, I suffocate. I really Bruh. about to pass out. Last week, I went into the salon. I took two clients in the salon. I said, Oh no, yeah, uh, uh. Oh, I forgot y'all is open. We're open. Right. The salon is open. Y'all salon is open, bro. Mhm. Mm y'all, 
salon is open. Oh, yep, the lash lady is open. I'm, I'm not going outside for nothing. It's still going on in the economy, crashing concerns is why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we've been around the same people, though, like, all quarantine, like... So yeah, we had, like, we all have been around each other all quarantine, so, I mean, at this point, like, it would have been, been too late anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah and y'all could wear y'all masks for hours. If you come in contact with outside people, I'm not coming in contact with random-ass people on the street. I'm not at the grocery store. Like, I'm in my house, and first of all, anybody who comes in my house or anybody I'm on live with is somebody I know personally. I'm not... Except for that one girl that I didn't know personally, her name was, uh... Sydney, damn, I hope that was her name. <laughs> yeah, the little 10 year old girl, and that's because I coach her. Like, I, other than that, like, I don't just have random people up in my house. So, if you in my house and you really need to wear a mask, and if we I don't know you. Up under each other either. Yeah. Like, we be in our separate little, I mean, not like that, but you know, we be in our little area, so. You don't have no little area in my house, sis. Okay. You should just do this, and we should just put a bun at the top. Why y'all press they already around each other? What you want them to do, reverse time? Right. I mean, also, like, the thing that be killing me is, like, if y'all don't like what y'all see, y'all can also just exit. Like, y'all really could. Y'all really, really could. So before you do the first you have to add Who's a Virgo on here? Yeah, who is a Virgo? Soccer block, y'all. Virgos be oof. Them September Virgos. They be cray cray. All right, y'all see? Yeah, I don't know why it's so hot in here. Because it's not like a hot outside, huh? It's not. It's warm, but it ain't It's somebody's breath at this point. <laughs> oh, August Virgos are cool. They're a lot more chilled and relaxed. What's your sign, Amani? A Leo. You a Leo? Mm. <laughs> the <best thing. laughs> I don't think I know no other Leo, so if I'm just basing them off you, it's not looking good for them. Sis, I can tell you a lot about Aries and you. <laughs> Aries, we go crazy. Like, what is there to but tell you us? Know what is crazy? I knew you was an Aries from, like, just from being around you. Though. Really? Because y'all all have this type of aura. Like, I can't explain it. This aura, like, we just bomb? No. Or what? Um, y'all are toxic. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> She said we toxic. The men, no, but the men Aries are toxic. Wait, what y'all think about Aries? Because I'm an Aries. We just, we like just hella extra. Yeah, I feel like. Who? Cancers? Yeah, yeah, but not yeah they be. China, like, she, I mean, China Cancers are just though. too sensitive for me. And like Aries, I feel like we say what we got to say. Yeah, y'all blunt. Like, that's yeah, we're very blunt. I be knowing people like, because like, cause you said something and you like, I don't care. Like, you just said something blunt. I'm like, oh, she, I bet you she Aries. I, y'all, I, I really don't be caring. Like, sometimes I say stuff and I'm like, dang, I shouldn't have said that. But it's too late. <laughs> like, I got to say what, I got to really say what's on my chest. I'm not about yeah. to be fake with you. Two days. And like I said, you're bald headed and I don't like you. Your breath is melting my eyebrows. <laughs> oh. Dre, whose side are you on? I'm on the side of somebody who don't Dre, what's your line? Dre's talking about get out of her ear with her with your hot breath. Dre is a Pisces, so y'all know when we argue he be writing me paragraphs. I be saying I be like, okay. I love you too, uh Tay Lee Lit. Okay, Tay Lee Lit. Pull up. <laughs> I'm a cancer. Pisces be like deep thinkers, and I just be like, it's not that deep. You used to heck a right paragraph, Dre. Don't lie. And then I used to be like, okay. He be like, really? That's it? Like, yeah, that is it. That was not ten years ago. He was trying to express his feelings to you. I don't want to hear about your feelings. Bro, Malik is Scorpio. He be pouring his guts out. Let me send him. Yeah. Really don't be writing nothing to her. All right, she oh. fabricating. Yeah. Right. He'd be like, "Hey, China." She'd be like, "Oh, he in love." <laughs> oh my God, she said. All, Toya said, "All my uh, moderators are cancers." No. Just hey. toxic toxicity. Ain't nothing toxic about a cancer baby. Cancer's just y'all too emotional, bro. Y'all be just y'all hold grudges too. Oh, sure do that. Really? You hold grudges? Very much so. I don't hold grudges. I say what I gotta say and keep it moving. It's just y'all temper. Y'all Aries, y'all got a temper. And yeah. Just real I don't have a temper no more though, Andre. Dre, haven't I gotten better with my temper? No. Wish you, I'm about to dump him. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about some no. At this point, you don't. You can't want to be with me with these answers because you're supposed to be on my side through thick and thin. You're not. 
Oh, so he basically said I'm still a fiance. Got That's it. What you said the no, I got it. I got the memo. You asked me for wife duties and I just a fiance. Okay, let me tell you, let me ask y'all this. And I could ask I'm asking y'all on a lie too, okay? And y'all can really get my opinion on this. Okay. So when I was just a girlfriend to Andre. I gotta call him I gotta call him by his first name. To, to Andre, because we may not be together after this combo. <laughs> Okay, so when I was just a girlfriend, he wanted me to cook and clean for him every day, do all of this and that. I said, I'm not a wife, so I'm going to cook for yeah, you once a week. It's in the way. Listen, can I finish saying my piece? No. It's not about showing and proving because you want me to do wifely duties as a girlfriend. Again, okay, so again. what did he do? He proposed. Okay, now I'm a fiance, so I'm going to cook a little more, but not every day. And I'm not washing your clothes until I'm a wife. We didn't say no vows. No, we didn't say no vows. No. Oh. I don't need to wash your clothes. Because I'm a fiance. When you say I do through thick and thin, I don't even know right now I can get sick and you can want to leave. You can't do that when you marry. See? There, there you go. There you go. What you just throw at me? Life That's after, why I don't want to be with you. This is called life after engagement. Life after engagement. <laughs> right. Like, you want me to do, like, he just wants me to do wifely duties, and I'm not a wife yet. She said I'm a fiance. So, I'm like a fiance. And he gets heck and mad. He's like, you told me when, you, when I put a ring on it, like I did. But now that you put a ring, I'm realizing that I need vows. At first, I thought all I wanted was a ring. But now I want a ring, and now I want vows. So, you know. What y'all think? Should I cook and clean every day or what? Yeah. Dre talking about, yeah, no. And this is why I don't like cooking for Dre. I'll make a whole bag of chicken. He'll eat the whole thing. It's called leftovers. <laughs> like, you're supposed to eat what six you pieces. About? You're supposed to eat six pieces what and leave four about? for the next day so I don't have to cook every day. He's greedy. About? He's greedy. What are you He's talking greedy. about? He eats, he eats all the food so there's and no leftovers. Greedy. So then that means I have to cook every single day. No, no, I like to make pasta because pasta lasts. No, I like to make pasta. Imani, I'm talking to you. I like to make pasta because it lasts multiple days. This fool, I don't like pasta. Okay, so you. Yes, duh. So I don't have to cook. That's the point of pasta. The biggest pot of pasta eats three bowls of it. And then leave the rest of the space. It's awesome, man. Like, you're not even eating it. You want me to eat it? Yes, I do. So you don't want him to, but you... Oh. Yes, I do. You don't make any sense. I do, I do, I do. That's why I make, that's why I make enough. When I make pasta, I make two weeks worth. Two weeks? First of all, I'm not your man. I'm your woman. Y'all know I'm just kidding, right? I love my man. I'm your humming. I love my baby Dre. I you want Jamba Juice, babe? You better order it now before uh. You better order it now before they close. No, you can take turns with cooking. We can't because he just don't. He don't. Salt. I don't what. He don't. You don't put salt on your food. You don't put salt. You don't put salt. You don't put salt. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Of yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. I need yeah, my you food need seasoned. High blood pressure. Oh. Yes, I need my food seasoned. Yeah, you know. He don't put salt. You should do passion braids next. I am. On, I'm doing passion braids on Monday. I already told y'all that last life. What is passion braids? The butterfly It looks like it looks like like messy box braids. <laughs> she like I don't want that. It is cute. I never. Toya said he not trying to kill you. See, that's why I don't like cancers. Cause here you go defending him. Just, just stop it. Why he's swinging cash in the air? Right. Can you put my dog down? He is not a. He's not a plush toy. Oh my god. And he want to know why I don't want to have no babies. Oh. Stop. He doesn't like that. He does. He's smiling. <laughs> he's, I ain't never seen no dog smile. Right. He's smiling. He does. Oh, these is looking. These is looking good. These is looking good, sis. Okay, give me about three more and we done. Hold your head down? No. Don't tell oh, me what you need. do. Yeah, I said I want to pop smoke in the front <laughs> and uh, dookie in the back. So, kiki. Oh, that's like a style. You know, people is doing this and they yeah, have two braids in the front. It's actually kind of cute, no. but I just feel like it don't last. It's not cute to you? It's going to no. be good for a day. <laughs> they say cash is Simba. No. Cash is what? Simba. Simba? Yeah. Hi. Simba is a cat. Oh. Uh, 
Oh my god, just be quiet. That's a very good point. That was a good one. Thank you. Mm -mm, my hand's starting to hurt. I'm done. <laughs> Dre, please dismiss yourself and go in the room. Because if you ain't here to just talk about me, I don't want. You can have your ring back at this point. Oh, where's that? No, that's Shit. mine. Dre, stay talking about if we get in an argument, I'm taking my ring. Like, you gave it to me no. when you proposed. And I'm going to give it back to myself. Oh. Y'all love her glasses? Let me tell y'all a secret. They're fake. It's not Gucci. It's Poochie. Yeah. I got it from the dude down the street. He's selling, uh... You got it from the, you got it from the dude on the corner? Yeah. You selling... bought him out somebody's trunk? Yeah, he's selling uh, Chanel bags. How'd they get your prescription? Gucci, Gucci. He got all the stuff in the car. I'm heck of done. He did your eye exam, everything. Yes. Give me 30 minutes. I'll put, I, I put them in the lens for you. Oh. I said, bet. <laughs> I'm done, sis. I'm sorry that y'all don't have jug like that. I think I like Leo's. Y'all kind of cool. Not all of us, though. Because, like, I feel like, I feel like Amani acts like me. Like, she thinks she hecka cute, but I actually am, though. <laughs> but she thinks she's hecka cute. She, she got pretty feet. My feet are hecka pretty. Oh. <laughs> What's funny? You said that, huh? Y'all, is it getting hot in here, or is it just her clothes? It's your lip. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> At first, she talked about, earlier she was talking about, do I smell boo-boo? I said, you're the only one, and that's Long probably ball, your lip. Cash was dookying. So. No, he didn't. His brother that died is fine. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You hear Dre? Wait, I said, ooh, Dre's talking about, what you mean, ooh? Uh-oh. I said, ooh, it's hot. He looks like spicy. He looks like spicy. Whose brother is that? Clarence. NYC? Yeah, that's his brother that died. He died? When? Like, this past week. Are you serious? How'd he die? Let me see him. He looked like Clarence. With the beard. But darker skin, yeah. RIP, brother, love you forever. That's heck of sad. We are all strong in our ways. Please put the dog down. He put the dog down. September Virgos, September Virgos are just Virgos trash. Girl, say that. I cannot. September Virgos, they think they know everything. They always got a random fact that they want to tell you. I didn't ask you. And they just not, like, they're just, they like to argue. They just, ugh. It's always an issue. Yeah, it's always an issue with them. Everything got to turn into a debate. They think they know everything. Like, just be quiet. They think they're just better than everybody. I just cannot. I cannot, I cannot. The thing that really kills me about September Virgos, though, is the random facts. Like, do y'all just sit at home and, like, look up random Snapple cap facts? Like, they always, I read, I did this, I know this. Like, Snapple just shut cap. it up. Yes, it'd be so annoying, bruh. What does the chat think about Pisces? What does the chat think about Pisces? Um, y'all talking They're about soft. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I said that. Y'all are just happy emotional. I, I feel like you. if you're not an Aries, I just kind of feel bad for you. <laughs> like, because I feel like we're the only sign that's like really perfect. What Pisces, you know when they birthday? When birthday? March. March. It's like March. It's like February. March. It's like March, like they wanted to be an Aries, oh, but like their parents just had them too early. Pisces. I have some Pisces. Dress a Pisces. My mom is an uh, Aries. They I'm a September Virgo. Oh my God, yo, fave. Yeah. <laughs> So y'all, the product I'm using is Lock In. I really need to lock in her hair. You get it? Um, I need y'all to laugh at my jokes. Like at this What's point, funny. at this point, I am though. That's Naomi really the thing. Naomi, telling you, she be trying to tell you. Your Naomi, jokes don't are not funny. Lying. Your jokes are not funny. So I'm hecka need, funny. You like need to stop and focus on every the time hair. I meet somebody, they're like, "You're focus hecka on funny. the hair because you're, you're the life that. of the party." You know what I mean? You're, you could be the life of the party and not be funny. Dre, I need you to go in the room and get on Call of Duty. No, like I'm trying to said, figure out why. Do your hair and stop trying to be funny. I'm not be doing yourself. my hair. Uh, he be said, yourself. "Try." Oh yeah, no, 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 no. You're yourself. you're gonna be real single. Be yourself. Okay, I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna do me. How about that? Is that what you want? I want you to be yourself. I want you to do do you, and I'm going to do me. <laughs> oh. If doing you is you being yourself, then please. Goodbye. Like, Stop what do you mean be, be myself? Who, am I, who else am I going to be? Who else am I going to be? This dope panda that's making jokes. <laughs> this dope panda that's making jokes. This Get it. Go in the room. 
Notice, wait, I want y'all to notice something. Notice I asked him to watch Cash and he came out here with me because he don't know how to watch him by himself. What? What? Wow. What? Yeah, I came out here honestly because he don't like just sitting on me. He don't like being around you because you don't play with him. He's literally sitting on me. Just Not go. Anywhere. Are you jealous? God. Y'all stay single, please. He's jealous. Jealous of what? If I went no, and sat over there, he no, would come to no, me. No, no, I didn't say you were jealous. I said you were jealous. <laughs> He's so annoying. How y'all feel about Capricorns? I don't really know. Aries are ignoring? Or did you mean ignorant? Because, uh uh, don't do me. Please do not. Please do not. Okay, no more signs. Any more questions? No more signs. No more signs. No more signs. Dre, this is not your channel, and no, I no, we're not interested in you. <laughs> yes, you. No, we're not interested. We're not interested. Why? Get interested. Cause I'm gonna get here no, no, no. Dre doing his thing with his cash name. Bart, he ain't. Exactly. Everything you know, she just said does the, not describe the, the me. Is when it's just me. And I'm a September Virgo. Everybody say I'm chill. Up. I think uh, for September Virgos, I think the the male and the females are different because somebody had told me that before. It's I know the males they just mm, mm. they mess. Oh my god! Please be quiet. They just live in their head. And they oh my god! Just please, I wish Drake would just be quiet, y'all. Oh my god! Okay, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Drake, you need a nap, baby. Yeah, go take a nap. Get a break. You need a break. <laughs> Get a break, babe. You're trying to tell me to take a break. Just take a break. Take a break. Just go take a nap, babe. You take a nap, babe. <laughs> I don't want you to be tired. Go take a go. Go take a nap, babe. I'm already tired of your mess. No. Oh. oh, okay. See how, see how my jokes are ringing? You know what's going Please don't make me. Uh, no, yeah, don't make me air you out, please. Please, 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 please. August Virgos be acting slow and smart at the same time. I know. I think I know. Well, my younger brother is a um August Virgo. He got the same trait, like thinking he know everything, but he's a lot more chill. My older brother is a September Virgo. It's just it's over for him. I'm sorry. He just. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mars a uh, Virgo? Yeah. Yes. Very much so. Str strong on the Virgo. <laughs> heavy on the Virgo. No cusps. None of that. I'm in Aries and you pretty much inspired me to continue my career in here. Oh, for sure. You gonna be a boss. Aries, we just got this like boss mentality to us. We're usually good at everything we do. We're typically thick. <laughs> hey, Brianna, girl. Oh my God, I want this style. I just don't keep braids up. Why? This style is cute. It's actually going to be really cute on her, too. I could feel it. What time is it? My cousin's like a 6 Oh, that's perfect. I'm doing good. How do you know what I'm doing? Girl. Uh oh, don't say that. <laughs> Are you putting beads on the ends? Yes. I told her she should, but she says she don't want beads. So but I'm going to see. I actually have a curly hair that I'm going to see if I could uh, put in there. Because I feel like she needs something on the ends. You can't just get these with nothing. Yes, you can. Oh, my God. Can Dre stop with the commentary? <laughs> like, go in your man's cave den or something. Go play Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is women's business. What you want it. I'm here. Are you putting? Uh, somebody just asked that. I've been watching you for a little minute or whatever. Now I know how to do not list. Pop smoke braids and weave with the leave out. Okay. Get it, sis. Uh, pop smoke. Get it, sis. Can you say hi? Vi I hope it's Vakaya. Vakia. Hi, Vakia. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Hell yeah. Who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? Only thing that makes me hecka mad about Chick-fil-A is I feel like every time I hella want it, it's a Sunday. It's and that really makes me hella mad. Because every single time I'm like, dang, I hecka want Chick-fil-A. It's a Sunday. That really pisses me off. Like people want chicken sandwiches yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, people cancel them because they su they support Trump. They support Trump. Oh yeah, I don't like them. It's nasty. Oh, wow. I, I hate. People have been eating them like almost a whole pandemic. 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 She said pandemic earlier. I said pandemic. Oh, what? Really? People been canceling Chick Fil A? Okay, so we rocking with Popeyes. Period. Period. 
No Popeye support show. Hey, Manny, what's the, what you got? The Damn, food so food what we eating? This ain't my phone. Like, <laughs> what, what, listen, what we eating at this point? Carrots and celery. Oh, yeah, because there was like a list of cities that, I mean, a list of uh, fast food places that supported Trump, huh? Yeah. We're not going to talk politics, but we ain't getting with that. Okay, look at sis snatched. Yes. I don't care if you're on your phone, but you need to hold your head up. Don't come in the live and try to see. Oh, okay. Those nails are cute. Those nails are cute. This dude is up here for mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, I, I wish I could wear nails, but I just can't. China, do the link. It's a link in the bio of the book. It's in my pocket. Babe, is that somebody parking our driveway playing that music? That's your dad. Oh. Uh, Machio's tires. Oh, okay. Is that Mario's music, though, or his? Right, whose music is that? It might be the hey, neighbors. Oh, yeah, they was having a party last night. Y'all remember my neighbors? Chill, yeah, it was a chill party. It wasn't like how it usually is. Can you say hey to Jane, Jamie? Oh, that's an interesting way to uh, spell it. J A M E, but it's like Jamie. Oh, okay. It might be. They might be like French or something. Jamais. Jamais. Jamais la pote. I just made that up. Jamais sauté. Stop, because that's not even. That's not. <laughs> that is. That is French. That's culturally. That's not right. Because you're not even. You're just making noises. Of, speaking a different language is not cultural. No, because you're making fun of their language. No, I'm not. You I'm are. You would say. He gonna say. He gonna say jamais hoka No, I'm not. You're not even saying that then. You did not say comment vous Okay. You was just making noises. Okay. 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 He was. Okay. Amani, was he not just making heck of noises? He was not saying nothing, bro. I was just speaking French. No, you were not, bro. Yes, I was. I was like, what? I ain't gonna lie, it was background noise, cause I'm like, <laughs> cause I was like, what did he say? Yeah, cause it sounded so natural. It no, French. it didn't. It sounded like multi Like oh, he was doing that. Just please stop it. Please, just please. We oui, oui. Oh my God, y'all want a couples channel? Do y'all want to deal with this? Do y'all want to deal with this? Talking about a couples channel, I can't. I can't stand him for ten seconds. Yeah, somebody said I heard him say come on Telegram. You didn't hear that? That's a Virgo who said that. It don't matter what they are. They heard what I said. They heard what I said. <laughs> I'm over him. Anybody looking for a boyfriend? Don't say that to other little ass kids. They're not even little kids. There's, first of all, there's a little kid right here with a koala bear. <laughs> oh my god. He might just like koala. She might yeah. just like koala bears and be twenty eight. Or she might be a catfish. Somebody said Dre is overrated. I am meaning head back. You finna get Period. Blocked. No, don't block her. Don't put her on timeout and don't block her, please. Who, Nene? Don't. Yes, please don't do that. Hey, Nene, I'm on your head. <laughs> he said Dre is overrated. For real. If I see it again, it's bad. <laughs> I, I agree, <laughs> honestly. He is slightly overrated because y'all be like, oh, Dre's so funny. No. You're like, jealous. Of uh, what? He was jelly at first, but now he's full blown jealous. Who? Somebody said, what is a cuss? Is that the place? It's it's, it's not from the place I sent you? It is. What y'all looking at? Nail nail places? Yeah. She worked? Bruh, I paid $50 to get my toes done, but it had gel. Is that right? Yeah. Because she was filing my toes. I was hoping I bleeded a little bit so I could get a discount. Oh, and Kirk, she different. Um, the the person who do your nails is Jason. He's the only person that do nails. And if you gonna get your toes done, only go by go to Sophia because she good. No, I don't know about Kirk for No, but I'm just curious. Oh, like, no, don't go to hand Kirk. Is that a lot of money? Fifty dollars for jail? Well, you got the you got a whole pedicure. You gotta remember what you had to get your stuff off. I didn't have to get nothing off. I came with no toenail polish. Yeah, well, it's not and they charged me fifty dollars, and she was filing my skin, but I didn't say nothing because I was like, "It's probably some dead stuff right there." Uh, but it was hurting. Fifty dollars—that's uh, that's about. Is that about right? Fifty dollars. Well, thirty for a pedicure. If you want gel, probably like forty. Oh, okay, okay. They probably charge. I tipped her ten dollars too. Oh, then yeah, that's right. Because and you know people are charging. Extra no, extra she charged me fifty dollars, and I tipped her ten dollars, so I paid sixty dollars. Oh, yeah. Well, it might be 40 plus like a pandemic fee or something. A pandemic fee? That's you know, not, no, that. no. That they that's up. what we're not about to do. A pandemic fee? They charge up, right? Okay, they said that's good if you got jail. Okay. Pan, are you pregnant? What? I'm actually losing weight. Where do you see baby fat? 
And first Where? of all, you don't ask somebody if they're pregnant. Can you get your cheeks? Yeah, that's that's heck. Oh, you don't need that. So you need to go get raised right. You don't ask nobody if they're pregnant. So you need to go get go home. First of all, stop clapping at her. Stop clapping at my subscribers. You don't ask Period. that. Period. She asking that because I look thicky on it. She probably saw this. No, and she wait. saw your stomach and thought you were pregnant. <laughs> That you don't ask nobody that. So she needs to go get some home I don't listen, I don't care what nobody say. I'm hella cute. Like, what? That actually hurt. I hit my boobies kinda hard. Oh my god. <laughs> because I have to show him. Drake, be good. Oh god. Can you, can you try to be your only way in? She tends to be clapped at. Panda, sorry. Will some of these people be asking out of line questions? I don't care. Listen, listen, it's going to take a lot to break me. Because <laughs> for some reason, the Lord sprinkled a little extra confidence in me. Because. Even if it don't break you, you just need. You, people got that got home training and know that you don't ask somebody if they're pregnant. That's rude. She's probably a kid. Well, she needs some more home training. I knew that as a child. Yeah, you're not supposed to ask that. You're supposed to wait until you see him do this, and then you could be like, oh. Or you never ask. Even if you think they're pregnant, you never ask. Like, or you could just be like, you fat. <laughs> you better off saying that than saying like, you're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Right, because that means it's hella round and hard looking. What's up, Natalia? <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that. I do. You don't have nothing till Friday. See, Happy I birthday. Said, you know, now the other they said Dre is not I funny. Know. I never. She knew. They say everybody built different, right? Everybody's not built like they had a BBL like me. You feel me? Everybody's not thick Yana like me. The majority of the work though that's on that page is his. Is he raw like that? Who? The nail shop. What is your? There's like seven different conversations going on. That's what he said. You're not funny. And she put it in all caps. Like, girl, you can get blocked and removed. I got my finger over the button. Don't test me. Uh-oh. And that's on purry. That's on purry. You're talking to me on all caps. She ain't playing y'all. Talking to me all caps. Get you blocked. Let me see something else again. Dre, calm down, baby. Just calm down. Calm down, boo. So I said, Dre, you're bullying, Panda. Who's better at spades, me or Panda? Me, for sure. What? Dre be thinking he good. He's not really. You're not athletic. And yeah. cards, even cards, you're just not good at nothing. Wife Snatcher just said she's just doing too much, so I let Wife Snatcher handle it. Yeah. Some of y'all just be wanting a reaction. And I'm an Aries, so I'm going to give it to you. Period. <laughs> oh. Cash looking my leg because he missed me. Cash, don't catch nothing, Kay. Girl. Okay, so somebody asked if I could show y'all how I wrap her hair under. So like how I tuck. So I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna watch this I need video. you to look where I put your head at though. And not in the mirror. Because there's <laughs> trust me, there's nothing to see. This is my heels to be sure. Drake, can you please make sure you're not blocking them and you're putting them on time out because I don't want to oh, yeah, have to block them. On time out. Okay. All right, so um, thank you so much. I got my <laughs> tattoo done in Panama. Thank you. All right, so I'm splitting this in three. Who is this person right here? Because you better get wins. That's a pearl. All right, I'm going to take this hair, put it in. Did to get a frontal? What? What? Even Bree needs a three-week Thursday on frontals. Okay, I'm switching. Can you hold your head up? Thank you. If you're going to be on your phone, I need you to hold the phone up and not hold Actually, your head down. Actually, I was down. scratching my eye, so. Okay. Well, do that with your head up. Anna, your tattoo is fire. I know they're not talking about the gecko. No, they're talking about my arm tattoo. <laughs> First of all, her gecko fire? Right, period. He's a little friend. All right. Yeah, a little friend. So, Gecko. basically, when you're tucking under, okay, you see I'm combing my client's natural hair, so it blends. This is her natural hair right here. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, basically... <laughs> What I'm going to do is, as I'm braiding, I'm going to make sure that the braiding hair is on top of my client's natural hair. So this is her natural hair right here. I'm going to make sure that the braiding hair is on top of it. So as I braid, the only thing you could see would be, you see how this is my client's natural hair? I'm going to pull this hair over it. And that's literally how you tuck. And then I could physically see my braid getting skinnier, or you could feel it. Like, you could feel like you're running out of hair. So that's when you know you need to add another piece. All right, so I'm going to add another piece in here. I usually add about four pieces. I would give Panda $10,000 right now because I'm rich. 
Okay, well give me some blue. So I'm gonna add in another piece right there and you keep braiding. If you, if you're not able to like tuck your, your uh, client's natural hair in, you see her hair right here? It's a little frizzy right there. So I'm gonna take some product and like straighten it out and then tuck it under. So if you're, if you're uh, braiding and you're not able to tuck your client's hair under the, the braiding hair, it's probably because, well, one of the reasons could be like there's not enough uh, braiding hair. So you need to add another piece because you should easily be able, there should be more like braiding hair than there is your client's natural hair, even when you're doing a knotless braid. Or you might need to comb out their hair. Like her hair, we blow dried it so it's pretty straight. Mm -hmm. But um, you, if it's not blending right, you may need to like blow dry it or comb through it. To, like get it straight. How much should I tip my hairdresser? You know, that's really up to you. I tip. You should tip your hairdresser half of what you pay there. What? Oh. Is that real? Or you no, he just if made that up. Like I usually would say probably like. At least ten. Yeah. At least five. I feel like I do like ten percent usually, but like. Twenty thousand. Like if I pay, if I pay, no, nah, that's nothing. If I pay a hundred, I usually do like twenty. You know, if you ain't got it, at if, least get five. I guess. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like yeah, you could just give what you what you can. I've never really looked at a tip and been like, "What? That's it?" Like it's a little extra. You should charge what you want to make so that a tip is really that just a tip. And now, if you charging a hundred dollars and you really want one forty, so they're not tipping you, and you like, damn, like I only made this, and you're not charging enough. You feel me? Like for this hairstyle, just for example, if I'm charging one forty, that's what I want to make. So if you give me one sixty, like who? Cool. You feel me? But I'm happy with my 140. That's how I really be feeling. So if you're tripping off a tip, you need to charge more. What is you your... You should let, you should can you show how to add in hair, but more up close and slower? You do dress hair. Okay. Huh? She does dress hair. Just I do, I do dress hair. I well, he, his hair just hair. got... He just started growing it out again, so... I feel like you I just started growing it out again. again? Yeah. yeah. You want to dress? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, Oh, you actually want dreads? I thought you was just. No, I told you that. Oh, uh, you probably did. I barely listened to you, honestly. Damn. And then she'll ask him to say, "You work tomorrow?" Yeah. Dude. Five minutes later, you work tomorrow. Room. Go in the room. Like, can we keep key? We have we have the beauty salon. So we're trying to keep these two. Wait, do we do we come do we come sit with you while you at the barbershop? We don't. Yes. We don't. We did at one point. When? When you was doing your hair cut too. That's different. Exactly. I was invited. And you was key keying. I was. I was all up in the business at the barbershop. Barbershop be having some tea too. It be juicy. I'm trying to kiki me me all that. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Slay Lord? If y'all don't already follow her, y'all should follow her channel. I actually looked at it the other day because she asked me about something, but she got some cool little subscribers in there. So go follow Slay Lord. She does, uh, she braids hair too. And the only reason I'm shouting her out is because she's always in my videos. She's always in my comment section. And I really, really do appreciate her. So before y'all like, shout out my channel. Like, no. <laughs> no. Nah, she really does. Like, she really does show support. Bray about to throw the whole ring away. At this point, I'm about to pawn the whole ring. What if I took it to pawn it and they were like $300? I'll probably show y'all up close when I get to the top, okay? Because I'm trying to get through this. Can you tell this girl what type of hair it is? Uh, so I'm using two different types of hair. I'm using pre stretch expressions braiding hair. And this hair that I'm using right now is Afrazine. Mm -hmm. um, I just had it left over and I wanted to get rid of it. So. <clears throat> Plus, my client didn't really know what color or nothing that she wanted. So I'm just using hair that I've already had here. She said she wanted an ombre, so I'm doing that. I was forced into an ombre. The ombre. She's talking about she was forced into an ombre. No, sis. Where are you, though? I wanted a light purple, but she don't know. No, you didn't. We tried to get her to get red, actually, but we'll do it on another day. Because I have a... Well, I'm doing my cousin's hair after this, and, like, I just... I'm ready to be done. Like, I don't want to be behind. It wouldn't have went with this anyway. If we would have did the... Uh, if we would have did the tribals, it would have yeah. been cute. Okay, maybe I should ask a question about hair because all my questions about the dog has gone unanswered. What What are your questions about the dog? She white. Like. 
I don't know what you what y'all want to know about him, but he's seven months old. He's a Jack Russell Terrier Chihuahua Poodle mix. That's really. He's it. bad as hell. And he's bad. Yes, very much so. He's I wish Bree was there. <laughs> y'all love Bree, huh? Yeah, she's not here. Bree. Yeah, Bree has her own channel. She has her own life. Like before Bree even came on my channel, y'all was not concerned. What is Bree doing on her channel? On her channel, she does more like younger kid stuff that I can't really do on my channel. Well, yeah, she does like hauls. She does like No, she doesn't. <laughs> she does like clothing hauls. I don't really know what she does on her channel. No. She be like hanging out with her friends, telling stories about how she like lost her V card, stuff like that. Like I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm hella grown. I'm not doing that. What's the name of Bree? Bree's channel is um Bree the Gemini B R E T H E E G E M I N I. So just breathe the Gemini with two Gemini. Yep, breathe the Gemini. Breathe the Gemini. She probably need help because she's got this. Yep. She already got like subscribers. You got some lights in there? Because it's 1.2K and it better be 1.2K light. Oh, you can't see it, huh? Uh-uh. Oh, so y'all can't see the likes? Mm -hmm. Only you can. Oh, what the heck? Only I can see it? Only mm -hmm. you can. So how y'all be knowing? Okay, so right now it's 1.2 thousand people in here and it's 361 likes. So I'm trying to figure out is y'all haters or what? Why y'all ain't hit the like button? They said it's late at night. It's not It's not late for us. It's, uh, what time is it? It's probably 645. Oh, 645. Okay, we almost done. I got an hour to finish the rest of this. I think I could do it. I told you I have to do my cousin's hair. Which cousin? Andrea. Oh, cousin, cousin. Yep. Cousin, cousin, what the heck? Don't you hate when people say, say the name twice? Like, when you be like, hey, you know Kevin? They be like, Kevin. They be like, you know Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, no, I don't. No, 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 I hate when you be like, oh, I went to school last Salesian. And they be like, oh, you know, Brittany, like, you know how many Britneys were, were there? Like, I hate that. Yeah, you know, like a hella common name. You know, Brian? Right. Yes, I know. You know, Ben? Like, yeah, I do know seven Bens. Like, Ben who? Ben Ben. They be like, Ben Ben. Right. Mark box, Mark. <laughs> hey y'all, how do you store and organize your extra hair? I have two blue bins that I keep the hair in, but usually it's just not even in the bins. It's on top or on the side up. Yeah, I have two big like storage bins that I put the hair in. One of them lights up. And I just pick hair out of there. But some of it'll be like full packs. I also have like a gray uh caddy thing that I keep like loose hair in. In the blue bins I only store like full packs of hair. Can you say hi Sarah? Hey girl. Cash you should ha Cash should have his own merch. I know right? I'm working on merch right now guys. Like anything I drop I want it to be done correctly so I'm working on merch right now. I already said hi Sarah. What hairstyle are you doing on your cousin? She I think is getting knotless box braids a little bit smaller than this. I said how did you make her hair so small? Who's here? Can you stop looking in the mirror? I need you to look straight. Ooh. How do you make her hair so soft? How do you do it so <laughs> She said, I got here late. Can someone fill me in on the hair she used and how many packs? So I'm using Afrazim and I'm also using pre stretched expressions braiding hair. So I'm using two different um, brands. Yeah. How do you get every strand the same size? When I'm pulling it, I just look at it and I can tell that it's, every strand is not the exact same size. That's impossible unless you have a scale, but you wanna get them like similar in size. So when I pull the hair, like when I'm prepping, I pull it and it looks like it's similar in size and that's how I know. Yeah. And then it's sometimes like, I feel like I could feel it in my hand if it's like thicker or thinner. But that's something that, like, the touch you'll get when, the more you do hair. You'll just have, like, that, that touch. That's how mine stored well in a jumbo. Penny, you're dope for real. Your personality is dope. Your work is dope. The list goes on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody who supports me. You guys are bomb. Thank you. If you love my channel, hit the like button for me. Run them lights up. Tips for upcoming braiders. I would say um, try to stay on trend. Like um, do the styles that are trendy because that's how you get clients. You know, when Pop Smoke, I can't even talk. When, when Pop Smoke braids come out, like do Pop Smoke braids. You know, when Knotless come out, like Master Knotless braids. That's really a good way to stay on top. You know, because that's how you get, that's how you get your work noticed. 
You feel me? Butterfly box braids are out now. I need to see y'all doing butterfly box braids, you know? That's a good tip. And then also just practice and perfect your craft. When you take pictures, take nice, clear pictures with good lighting. Try to cut out stuff that's in the background. We don't need to see all the extra stuff in the background. Um, lighting is like a big thing. Like some of you guys show me pictures and it's like I could barely see because it's heck of dark. Like either invest in a ring light or try to take pictures outside during the day. Um, if you can't get clients during the day, then try to like, you know, find a well-lit area so you can get get the best angles of your work. You don't need to show the whole head. If the right side is looking kind of funky, we don't need to see that. Like show the best angles of your work, you know? It's like when you take a selfie, you feel me? You getting your best angle. This is the same thing. Show us the best angles of your work. We don't need to see the, we don't want to see the braid that got the lump in it. We want to see the best braid, right? No, that's really what it is. And it's like, I mean, it's kind of like catfishing, but not really though. Like, you know, you want to show the best of your work. When I see people's work on Instagram, I'm assuming it's the best of what you could do. Because otherwise, why would you put it out there? Every side is the best side. Not always. I mean, sometimes I'll do a. Oh, thank you. Sometimes I'll do a style on a client, and I'm like, ooh, like it looks cute from the side where her head turned. So that's my picture. Sometimes, like my client may not be that cute, so I don't need y'all. Don't need to see her face. Y'all just need to see the back of the hairstyle. You know, like I'm just, I'm just being honest. Look now, all my clients who only took the back, they're gonna be like this bitch. No, but I'm being serious. Like you wanna, you wanna get the best angles of your work. You know, we don't need to see all four sides. Unless all four sides is hitting, you know, I, I picked the best side. Like, okay, yeah, the right side is hitting different. My stitches look hella defined. You know, I'm not saying like do one side better, but that's just the reality sometimes, you know, you want to put out your best work, your best picture. So, and then sometimes I try stuff and it's just not, it, it's not it. So I don't take a picture at all. <laughs> Why is not your be on it? Stop owning. promoting yourselves in this live or you're gonna get in time out. Dre is loving this. He loves having any inkling of power. I want to use it. It's dope for real. I'm already going. <coughs> hey girl. Ooh. So yeah, any more questions? I started doing hair when I was really young. I feel like I didn't really start taking hair serious until like the past maybe three years when I really started focusing on YouTube. And that's when I started like actually trying to perfect my craft. Before I was, I was never like super bad at doing hair, but I just wasn't like, I no, it's not that I wasn't good. I just wasn't really trying to elevate. Like I knew how to do what I knew how to do. And like, that's what you were going to get. Yeah. Like I'm not about to learn how to do nothing else. <laughs> until I started my channel and that's when I really started to like branch out and try different stuff and um yeah no I'm not going live for my cousin okay I need to learn so I can teach my grandmother teach your grandmother how to braid how do you practice you practice on a mannequin <laughs> That's some shit that Aries would say, huh? How did Tony know when we get married? Tell us when we get married, 10, 10, 20. Is she making updates in her head? Can you say, hey, Courtney? <laughs> Y'all be heck of funny. How you gonna put Toya in time out? She a moderator. With large broke twists, how do you get them not to unravel? So if you watch my, uh, literally I just went live doing China's hair, doing rope twists. And I showed you guys how like twisting and twisting, twisting while twisting the hair while you're twisting the rope twist will prevent it from unraveling. And I already and I showed in that video also how um how uh what's it called? You should be able to let your twist go and it shouldn't unravel. So go and watch that live, y'all. I know sometimes like tutorials be long and y'all don't want to sit through a whole live, but like if you're really trying to learn something, you really should. Cause I be dropping gems in the lives. You don't have to sit there and watch it in one day. Maybe watch an hour here, hour there, but I already talked about that in that live, and I'm not going to talk about it again because I'm doing a whole different style. So, okay. but the the thing that kills me is like people be wanting these in depth tutorials, and then y'all skip through half of it. So you're not really trying to learn. You feel me? And I'm not even talking to the person who uh, left this the comment and asked. I'm just saying in general, like if y'all really trying to learn, y'all got to really take the time to sit there and watch. What is the difference between braiding a few times before adding hair in versus? 
adding hair right at the beginning. Okay, so I like to add hair right at the beginning because I'm gonna show you why. Because I feel like it makes it um, the braid more even from top to bottom. So y'all can see like it's the same size from top to bottom. And when you don't do that, I feel like it just doesn't last as long and the braid goes skinny. I don't know if you know if y'all seen like a knotless braid. It goes skinny and then it starts getting thick where the hair is added in. I don't like that. It shouldn't look like that, right? So for example, if I start with this and I braid her natural hair, I'm not going to do this like heck and neat because let's just say I braid her natural hair like this, right? And now I'm, and then I start adding hair in like look how skinny that is. I don't, that's not right. That's not right. And especially since her hair is like on the thinner side, it just, I feel like it kind of just anchors the braid at the root and helps it to last a little bit longer. Some people are able to do it and it'll look a little more seamless, but I don't, I just don't really care for that look. So I like to add my first piece in when I do my first um, cross right here, right? I go again because it puts the fake hair at the root without creating a knot. And I feel like it, it makes it just last a little bit longer. You have that like fake hair to secure that root in huh cash be hecka on it he know when he's doing something he's not supposed to be doing that's really the thing so yeah it's tight they say is it tight and money you can ask, answer that because it's your head my head is throbbing and i'm probably gonna take a motion next caller no nah, it don't hurt at all my scalp though i have my me personally my scalp is like just sensitive but it's not like oh my god i'm in pain i just have i'm just tender-headed so a little bit you tender-headed a little bit oh but, you never be but, like moving like i would have never known mm -mm. i mean i just you know you have sensitive spots in your head yeah i just have sensitive spots in my head okay. but not really like yeah. But I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all like I braid tight. I'm not. I've never done anybody's hair and tried to do it loose. You like braid that tight. I've had. Somebody, I feel like I braid tight. I've had well a little bit, but not really. I've had somebody braid really, really tighter than you. Like to really, somebody's hair should have been pulled out. What? Jeez. Yeah, I feel like I'd be gripping. I mean, my goal is to make it like tight and neat. I don't be trying to do it too tight. Like when you pulling and your hands are shaking because you're trying to braid so tight, that's different. She got Gucci glasses. She got money. No, baby, she broke. She pulling, up, she pulling up to an apartment with them Gucci glasses. Just kidding. I'm outside on the corner, so if y'all want to come visit. She got Gucci glasses. Should I charge her extra, y'all? Because she look like she got it, huh? No, I only got it $3. So if y'all trying to get two more, I'll put uh, put my... um. She used her GoFundMe. financial aid money. I put my GoFundMe. I don't even get financial She doesn't money. braid hard, a.k.a. it doesn't hurt. I braid hard. I, be, I mean, honestly. It depends no, on you, though. You it depends on the person. Hand, but you do not braid no hard. Okay, um, I got a pee, so you're going to have to hold on. I you got a pee. Yes. Here she go. Yes. Here, you, I want got it in. yes you want it I in. Yes, I am. <laughs> you want Which it in. I'm actually about to run out of hair. You might have to get a 27 in the front, okay? Oh, never mind. I see some hair on the floor. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, she's like i'm sick of you actually you could have gave me some red in the <sighs> she wanted them clients y'all seven bathroom breaks mm. you'll be all right oh yeah <coughs> I don't know what you would. Yeah. so yeah what's up y'all what's up panda nyjah she said can you try to say my name y'all see me with my half bun my name is nyjah the braiding battle is um the first round is on the 29th so i think that's next weekend right isn't that next weekend? China over here sleep. The first, uh, the first round is on September 29th. I, I believe that's next weekend. I'm filming all my looks this weekend. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited. But as like, so basically the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st are round one, round two, and round three. So I'm going to drop YouTube videos on each day, you know, or I'm going to drop pictures of my looks each day so you guys can see them um and then october 2nd i'm gonna share my link because they're gonna give me a link basically where you guys can vote for who you guys want to vote for me or glam by mary and then um on october 2nd they're gonna announce the winner so i'm super excited y'all i've never really uh my hair was purple i cut all my hair off girl you ain't been to my channel in a minute because my hair was purple like that was a year ago so yes seriously though when are you doing a music video for what I don't have no song to do a music video. Oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you got a salon because baby girl, I need to get snatched. <laughs> I'm in a, I work in a salon, yeah. Yes. 
That's awesome, Debbie. I like Glam by Mary. Um, I used to watch her channel before I started. Well, not before I started my own channel, but as my channel was growing, I used to watch her because I feel like she does like similar to what I do. She does a lot of tutorials and stuff, which is awesome. So I used to check her channel out. I haven't really watched it um, recently just because I don't really watch a lot of channels no more since like mine's is kind of booming. But um, she's bomb. She's really bomb. So this should be a really good battle. It'll be really fun. I'm glad it's her. So, yeah, if you guys don't follow her, follow her at Glam by Mary. I think that's her Instagram, too. You might have to get 227. Do you hear? Not really. Okay. Like a 1B27? I don't know. As long as it don't look stupid. No, it doesn't. It's, like, it's, a, it's a similar. It's similar. This is a 30. So, I'm voting for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate everybody voting for me. I, I just want y'all to, like, actually look at the pictures and, like, you know. But if you team Panda, you already know. We got to show out. Girl, you said what now? Oh, it feel good with that door open. It's like a breeze, huh? I don't know why it's just looking here. Panna, is there a style you hate doing? Yes. I hate doing lemonade braids. I really don't like doing faux locks, and I'm so mad. So when they made the battle and I looked at the categories, because they didn't tell us what categories they were going to do. They didn't really tell us much of nothing until they announced it. Um, one of the categories is texture locks. I'm like, I don't even like doing faux locks. Like, I really don't. So um, that's one category for the competition. So I'm going to have to do it again. But after this, I promise I'm not ever doing, I'm not ever doing locks again. I just don't care to do them. It's just like, it's just the fact that it takes heck along for me, and I just, I'm not interested. <laughs> I feel like when I first kind of started braiding, I was down to try more stuff, but now that I'm like established, I just feel like there's certain stuff I just don't want to do. You know? That's like a lot of hairstylists don't like to braid. They're like, I'm not braiding. You know, it's kind of like, yeah. But I'm happy, like, I'm happy I'm doing the competition because it's challenging me to like be creative i kind of get stuck doing the same stuff you know like i do i always do like knotless box braids and stuff like that so it's really challenging me to like take what i'm doing and be creative with it which is going to be like really exciting for y'all to see because i i did a lot of like creative type looks in a uh, cosmetology school but i haven't really got to like share them with you guys so this is going to be a really fun way for y'all to see me really like turn up in my element so i'm excited for that Hey, sister. Do you have your models already picked out? Yep. Oh, she just now leaving sack, so we good. Oh. She we could have did your tribals. Okay. I'm hecky irritated. You did Dre Twist. Now my husband bugging me for his. For his. <laughs> Do him. They're hecky quick and easy. They're hecky quick and easy. But Dre just be getting on my nerves. He be wanting to touch up after two days. Like, no, that's not the way it works. He, he, like, literally, the next day, he was literally picking at them all day. And he was like, but they're coming out. Why? Like, because you're picking at them. He was, like, twisting them like they were already dreads. I'm like, bruh, leave it alone. So, Hillary, if you want to watch the battle, um, if you have an IG, you can follow the Janet Collection. J-A-N-E-T-C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. You can follow Janet Collection, or you can follow me on Instagram at Braided Up, B-R-A-Y-D-E-D-U-P, or you can follow Glam by Mary, Glam by M-E-R-R-Y, Mary. And we're all going to be posting, well, I don't, I can't really speak for Glam, but I'm going to be posting, um, and like I said, I'll post it on YouTube too, I'll make like a YouTube video for each round, just so you guys can see. And yeah, but the live is going to happen on October 2nd on the Janet Collections website and it's going to happen at 8 p.m. I think that's 8 p.m. Uh, California time. So it might be 11 o'clock if you're on the East Coast. But yeah, I wish it was on YouTube, but I don't think they have a YouTube like that. Is your braids even neat if you're charging 450 solo twin? <sighs> Who's charging 450 for their braids? So beeswax or lock and gel for twist? Um, you mean for like dreads? I said dreads. <laughs> for dreads? All right, we done with the back, y'all. So boom, we're looking nice and full because we brick laid. Okay, if y'all don't know what brick laid is, it means these are falling here. Okay, so this is looking good. Smashed. 
All right, we're going to start the front. You want a side part or you want a part down the middle? Down the middle. Yeah, that's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I asked, but I already knew the answer. I already, already knew what I was going to say. All right, so for my middle parts, I've started standing in the front because y'all know I have an issue getting parts down the middle of my client's head, and her hairline is messed up, so I really can't mess it up. Since I tried to buy a new you know one. your hairline is messed <laughs> up, so don't. I just said I tried to buy a new one, and they had no more online, so. They still not. cute though. Mm, this unprofessional touching. Girl, be quiet. You want your part down the middle or what? Ooh. What? Ah. What? Ooh. Please, put your breath. They gonna put you. I'm gonna put, put a picture. Some people don't have YouTube. Can you post the picture on YouTube? Yeah, I am. I, I just told y'all, I'm going to post everything on YouTube for you guys. I already told you guys. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post the results, everything on what YouTube. What does she mean, though? Because she said, can you post it because people don't have it. But why would you post it on something that people don't have? No, people don't have Instagram. Because mm -hmm. the, the battle is, is um, on Instagram. And she's saying, like, some people don't oh, have Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this has really helped me, y'all, because I, yeah, I have a really hard time finding the middle of my client's heads. Like, I'll do, there's been times when I've done a part and it's been so off to the side that I just, I'm like, dang, oops, my bad. What's in his mouth? Are you just eating everything? So after I do the part, I, like, tie both sides up because... I don't know if you ever did a part and then you tie it up and it's crooked. You know? You ever did that? Oh, y'all don't do yeah. hair, so. I do. I do hair, so I would know. Girl, you don't do hair. So <laughs> be quiet. I be laying ponytails in my room. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she got a widow's peak, so I can really see what her middle. You got a widow's peak, you know that? Yeah. You That's perfect. You said this before, Brie. It's okay. You got a selective memory. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I only remember people who are memorable. <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of them, sis. Okay, there we go. You look like my ex best friend. You always say this. <laughs> like that's why that's picture? really why I don't care for you. Oh, I never showed you a picture. Let me show you a picture of her. We used to be best friends, but no. She got cut off. Did y'all just see how she just Your phone is fully charged, so why are you using my charger? Because I'm gonna need You really look like her. I bet she wanna be my friend heck of bad now. Who your uh, ex best friend? Don't this look like her? This is not a good picture though. Hold on, let me show you her. I can't even see what these comments say. Y'all, I'm so blind. And my lashes messed up. Uh oh. No? Ooh. Oh, really? Um, they she hecky cute, though. But I don't think they would. She hecky cute, but she ugly now because she's not my friend. But she was hecky cute. She's no? I could kind of see it. That's, the, that's, her pro, that's her page? Yeah. I don't want to show them because they don't need to see her. She ain't getting no clout. Yeah, I can see it like in the, like, the. Yeah, yeah. she heck of look like you. Yeah. And she, the reason why I say that is because, like, she got the same hairline as you with the same widow's peak and, like, her hair yeah, heck of thin can, and, yeah, like, scraggly. Can, yeah, and, like, she got, we have kind of, like, right here. Yes, y'all yeah, look alike. Are you her? She is so pretty. Are I you her? You. No, I ain't her. Because I'm original, baby. <laughs> She can't be me. I feel like you might be her disguise. What's her name? You said Brit. Oh, oh. She. Well, obviously, she your best friend, so she always. She was my best friend. Yeah. But you might be her in disguise, trying to get your hair done. Do you wanna? So when's your birthday? Eight August. Eight. Oh, okay, her birthday in February. Oh, uh -huh. I was trying to say April. <laughs> okay. I just had to make sure you wasn't her trying to get sneak in and get your hair done, cause I'm not doing her hair. Period. Panna is simply out? outspoken. I am. Am I? Am I mean? I'm heck mean, huh? I am outspoken. Like I just can't help it. And she. That's the Aries in me, y'all. I really don't be trying to say stuff, but I be just saying it because I be trying to do more styles to my head. But all I ever really do is box braids. I wanna do twists, but I just tried and girl, I felt like a mother. Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple tries. You know, I never. Only thing I've ever really done on my hair, I think, was feet and braids like going back and I've done um box braids but I've never done like small feet and braids like well maybe when I was younger but since I've been older I've never done like tribals or nothing like that mm -mm. not on myself I've had them done before but not on myself my daughter is an Aries no chill 
I've, been, I've gotten, y'all, since I've gotten older, though, come on, Dre. Don't lie, baby. I've gotten so much better because I used to be so reckless, like, just talking and just being yeah. hecka rude. Yeah, yeah. Like, I actually think before I speak most of the time. I used to just, it's not because of you. See, now he want to take credit for something. It's because of me, baby. <laughs> it's not because of you. They said she's so pretty. She is cute. You cute, Imani. I'll Thank give you, you that. Y'all so nice. I yeah, give you that. I was trying to come for y'all. <laughs> right, they wanted to tell China she was like offset. Look at her sleeping. <laughs> Look at China. This is why your hair gonna be messed up. No scarf. She, head, but, but no she scarf. Got a, she got a new scarf and a new bonnet right next to her though. Right, no scarf. You just laying on your fresh hair talking about your curls is messed up. Don't call me for no redo They're or no touch up. up. I'm watching the comments. You're not watching the comments. Your eyes was closed. Her eyes was closed talking about she watching the comments. No, they wasn't, sis. You over there asleep. I think it's funny that she on YouTube. Who? Her. China? She no, is. Oh. No, what's her name? No, the old person. She's not on YouTube. Oh, 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 she she, she did like a video for somebody, like an interview, but it had like oh. 100 views. I watched it. I was like, girl. How long ago have y'all, did y'all fall out? Like years ago? We, fall, we fell out, yeah, years ago when we were still like mid-20s. Yeah. Have you ran into her since? Oh, I, I ran into her like, well, I had ran into her, and that's when I realized that we fell out because I didn't even know we fell out. Oh, you just thought y'all talking, or it was like I just thought, yeah, like I just, yeah. And then I ran into her, and she didn't speak, and I said, oh, okay, that's the type of energy we on. You got some problems? Hey, yo, money, you got a problem? Yeah, we got some problems. Well, so she's I said, okay. Like a man right there, though. Like, like I think it's the way she's holding her. Dre don't think she's cute, but I think she's pretty. She's, she's pretty. Up. It's just this picture ain't flat. Don't say her name, please. I'm not. I'm not. But you know who I'm talking about. Dre was like, she's like ugly. Because I used to tell him all the time, I used to be like, my best friend's hecka pretty. He used to be like, no. <laughs> like, I can see where she can be, and I can see where she can't be, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's laughing. But she's cute, yeah. Oop. They're talking about oop, they saw the phone. Get, put your phone down. Oh, my bad. Dang. Don't drop that thun, thun, thun. Hey, what's up? I'm using lock in gel and I'm using shine and jam silk edges. Shut up. Dre, telling him to shut up is not going to make him be quiet. China, you see what your mama said? So, what was that stuff for? That was meant for tonight then. What's the best best edge control for four C here? Is that what you said? The oh, they say you can see the phone in the mirror. Y'all be detectives. Cash, baby. Y'all, can you pick him up, Dre? If y'all did that, don't go look at that. Do can you pick him up? Dre? He won't let me go. Like. Okay, let me put him in his crate. He probably tired because he ain't really napped all day. My dad stay talking about shut up before I kill you. I'm like, you cannot say that to my dog. Oh my god. Usually when he barks, he's either bored or tired, so you know he gotta go on lockdown. Shut up before I kill you. Where you gotta do this challenge? Oh yeah, period. With my ring. Yeah. I'm gonna do it with my booty though, cause I'm thick. Oh, sis, no, don't do Um, I'm using expressions, pre-stretched expressions hair, and I use one pack of Afrozine braiding hair just because I need an extra hair. Um, it's an ombre mix. It's 1B30. I think the next time I do my hair, I'm going to do faux locks because I didn't watch your tutorial like five times. That's what's up. I don't got the patience to do no faux locks on myself, honestly. I don't got time to do faux locks on other people. What's up, Pooh? Does your feet ever hurt? Uh, sometimes, like if I have a long day, but this is not really a long day for me, but I right now I'm wearing house shoes, but I usually wear Crocs and my feet be cool. I have an anti-fatigue mat though, so that really helped out a lot. When I didn't have this and I was just standing on hardwood floor, like yes, my feet used to kill me. Okay, Pooh, I miss you too, Pooh. I don't even know who you are. I never even seen you, but I miss you though, sis. Mm -hmm. She been braiding since she was five. Yeah, I was really young. <laughs> they know your whole life story. <laughs> right. <laughs> they really do though. That's the thing. They sound loyal. Do you like doing butterfly locks? Yeah. <laughs> I like it's not that like I like the way butterfly locks look. If I had to do any locks, that would probably be my preference just because I like the way they look, but I just don't 
like to do them. I just, it's super repetitive with the, um, with the like twisting the hair around. And I just, it just takes too long for me. And I know you could say the same thing for braids, but braids don't take me seven, eight hours. Like locks do. Yeah, because it's so many steps. Like. It's so many steps. And I just like, I, ugh. I feel like I always start off and I'm like, ooh, I heck I want to do these. These are hecka cute. And then halfway through, I'm like, now why did I? Like, I'd be so irritated to where I have an attitude with my client. I don't even want to talk to them no more. Because it's like, why would you look this? So, yeah, after the last time, I was like, I'm not doing these no more ever. Like, a friend will want them and I'll be like, okay, I'll do it for you. And then halfway through, I'm like, I don't even want to be your friend no more. Like, <laughs> like. I'm just so, like, I'll just be so ready to be done. I can't explain it. I get agitated because I'm so ready. So that's when I decided that I'm not offering them no more. Hey, can you say Kamaya and love you? She doesn't like lemonade braids. Yeah, I don't like lemonade braids either. I hate those. And people always want to book those. I'm not that good at lemonade braids either. So that's another thing. Like, I just... It's super, those are really challenging for me. Like the parting and just making sure like my parts look like a design. I just, I don't really care for them. Do I, I was like, do I have a clip? What's the worst hairstyle you've ever done on yourself? Um, to be honest, it's been a while since I've done my hair and I don't really experiment. I feel like I do, um, I feel like I do only box braids, so I can't really say I've done anything that I didn't like. Oh, yeah, Cash is on one. He needs some dog milk, do he? He do. Sis, can I get a shout out? Hey, Beverly Green Bogan. What type of last name is Bogan? I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> I just had to say it. Bogan. Bogan. Miss Bogan to you. Miss Bogan, boo. Period. How many packs of pre-stretch hair would you normally use for this style? Uh, usually two and a half. And if, I, if they want them longer, then probably a little bit more. Let me see. You really could fool me for the few videos you've done. Your feeding game is tight. Fooled you for what, though? I mean, I think you're talking about because I said I'm not good at lemonade braids. I just... I mean, usually... Okay, so y'all got to understand, like... Pretty much every single client that I take, I record. Because if I'm not recording, I just don't need to be doing your hair, right? So, y'all got to think, like, I sh the videos that I post on YouTube are, like, the best out of all those videos, you know? At one point, before uh, Corona happened, I was recording, like, two to three videos, like, a day. You feel me? So, I pick the best out of those to show you guys. And it's not like the other styles don't look good. It's just like I might see a braid off or a little part off and I already know people going to come for me. So I don't share it. So, you know, it's just like Instagram. When you go to, like I said, when you go to look at somebody's Instagram page, you're seeing the best of their work. It's the same for YouTube. I'm showing you like either the stuff that I like that's creative or like the best, you know. Y'all love asking for a shout out. What do y'all get out of getting a shout out? Y'all not getting no followers. That is kind of true. I'll be thinking that too. I really want to book you, but I'm all the way in Brooklyn. Oh, I'll be traveling. I'll be traveling soon. Sorry. Yeah. I'll show the gel I'm using in a second. So a lot of people ask this. When I add in extra hair, I'm putting it underneath because I feel like when you add it over, sometimes you can see like a little hump. So I'm going to put it underneath and I'm connecting it to this strand right here. So the strand that's on my left side and the strand that's in the middle. And then I just keep braiding, and it'll be seamless. You see how you can't even tell I added it? A lot of y'all ask that. Girl, you reading paragraphs. What is Girl, that? Comments? They, talk, they talking about somebody. I, uh, somebody they, uh, that oh, that's that Barry Salas page? Mm-hmm. Oh, my that's God. The, the girl that be doing dreads out here. They talking about her. Oh, the uh, the, the one so the that's in Berkeley? No, she in, it said she in Richmond. But I be seeing oh. people post get they get their hair done by her. Oh, okay. My name is Brianna Renee. That's awesome. Mine too. How much? <laughs> mine, is, mine too. I'm your biggest fan here from Jamaica. Hey, Rihanna Allen girl. Thank you so much. He said pay her for shout outs. I mean, 
Y'all be wanting me to say y'all name, like y'all said. It don't really do nothing for me or for you, so I just say it. What is the best hair gel to use for knotless braids? And by the way, hey, hey, girl. It really depends on what hair texture you're working on. For most people, I use Shine and Jam Silk Edges. I always link what I use in the description section. Sometimes it'll be different stuff but um for her hair because her hair is really frizzy i'm using lock in which is a product that my subscribers actually told me to try it this is what it looks like it's 20 dollars on amazon but shipping is 10 dollars. i'm just gonna let y'all know so it's 30 dollars, but you get a lot so it's 16 ounces usually when i get shining jam i pay like 11 dollars for this one and i think it's eight ounces so you're getting two of these so you know it's worth it it's just the shipping is a little expensive um but yeah i like this product because it's thicker um you can use it on locks or braids and it holds her hair really good her hair really good shining jam don't really work for her hair because her hair gets really frizzy it doesn't really hold so that's better for her hair i'm in california can you do another video on jasmine's hair transformation yeah i actually have a video that i have to edit um it's just a lot of voiceovers that i have to do so and um, that's why I haven't posted it yet. But I'll be posting it soon. But you know, we colored Jasmine's hair. I, I kind of did a live so y'all could kind of see her hair a little bit. But when are you going to start taking clients? Because I'm in Chicago. You know what? Honestly, like, so I told people I was going to open my schedule in October. But I might have lied. I don't even know if I'm going to take clients anymore. Um, just because, like, I want to do stuff I want to do. And when <laughs> I take clients... I be getting stuck doing the same stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, y'all be wanting what's trendy, but I don't want to do box braids all day. Or I don't want to do, like, certain styles. Like, I want to be able to get creative and do different colors. So I think I'm just going to take models. When I travel, though, I'll take, I'll take clients. Can you give a close-up of the gel you're using? I literally... Did I not literally just show them the gel? Oh, her edges hurt. That's why she humming, y'all. Oh, no, I was saying that to what they said about the gel. Just... Oh. I literally just, I literally just showed y'all. I know you probably new to the live. Okay, I got to redo this. I got to pay attention on her edges because they kind of thin. So I got to really make sure I blend this hair in. So y'all gonna have to give me a second. I got to focus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got to focus on sis's edges. Yeah, this product is good for your hair. We might have to use this. I just didn't want to like, use that. Uh, yeah, no, when I was using it for my edges, the other, like, for the, when I had the, um, the small knotless, bruh, that stuff was starting to turn white. I'm like, what's the issue now? Yeah. And I, it, it wasn't like I was clumping it on, like, I barely put any on. Yeah, like, I might It be doing that sometimes. That's why I was surprised when you wanted me to braid the whole thing with that. But does it be turning white? Mm-mm. Oh, okay, that's good. Mm -mm. It just, it stayed, it stayed sticky like mm. you know that that feeling but it's fine because it keep my hair tame so. yeah so but it don't turn white because if it did i'd be like okay yeah girl, you're not the right one but no it just stays sticky throughout like the three four weeks my hair is in um but it don't turn white. sorry y'all i had to focus on her edges because i was gonna have to sue if my three strands came out girl goodbye sue what Sue what and with what money? You don't even. It takes money to sue, baby. Hey, okay, baby, and I'm you gonna, gonna pawn your Gucci frames? Yes. <laughs> yes. You play too much. I'm gonna pawn whatever China got too, and that's on. Are you favorite. around when it's orange out? It's not orange anymore out here. It was. What was that last week? Yeah. The week before that. That was wild. It's not orange anymore. It's pretty much cleared up. Oh, y'all asking me the same questions over and over. Are you ever coming to Michigan? Now, listen, y'all already asked me to come to Detroit and I already told y'all I'm not trying to get my ankle shot off. <laughs> Period. They gonna shoot my knuckles off out there. It's not gonna be no more dope ass spinning. <laughs> you guys are ghetto. No, I'm just kidding. I might come. When you hear Michigan, don't it just sound like heck of like Caucasian? Yeah, but then you like Detroit, Michigan and they hit different. You yeah. like, oh, okay. They said Detroit is not bad. Listen, I looked up the most dangerous cities in America, and Detroit was in the top three, baby. Really? So, yes. What was the first one? It was like... Oh, probably it, Chicago. No, it was first. It was like Detroit, Chicago, Chicago and like Oakland or something. I said Oakland Chicago. was up there. Richmond was like number 12. But I looked this up a long time ago. Look it up. 
put the, the three most dangerous or the top dangerous cities in America. It was up there. I said, if y'all got a whole first 48 season dedicated to y'all city, I just can't be out there because I can't. I can't be next on the list. Detroit, Baltimore. <laughs> I told you. Look, the top, the top three cities. Detroit, Baltimore, St. Louis, and Memphis. Uh-uh. Let's see 20 more. Cleveland, Oakland. Okay, Oakland is one, two, three, four, five. It's number six. Now, where's Richmond at? Okay, we down on the list. I don't even live in the ghetto, see? Detroit, number one. And that's where y'all want me to come braid? In Detroit? Uh-uh. They said Detroit ain't that bad. That's because y'all are from there. How do you do it? They gonna look at me and say, oh, no, no, no. She don't look like she from here. Click clack. Detroit, they not, they not even got Houston on here. Houston bad? Houston is hella big, though. So I feel like that's crazy. That could be per capita, though. You know, okay, so, like, Richmond was up there per capita. You know when it's per capita, they base it on, like, the size of your city? Uh, you know, because, like, in, I feel like in Houston, there could be, like, 100 homicides, but that's, like, there's hella people in Houston. You feel me? In yeah. Richmond, there's, like, 50 homicides. That's a lot because yeah. there's only, like, 1,000 people out here, you know? Yeah. So, like, yeah, sometimes you got to look at that, too. You from Chicago? Yeah, mm-mm. Look, y'all gonna rob me, huh? I'm gonna do y'all hair and they're gonna be like, you ain't getting no money, Banner. But they just I'm say just you, gotta, you gotta really watch your back in them areas. Like, even if you're doing simple stuff. Really? Like, yes, no. But you know how sometimes, like y'all said, Detroit is not that bad. Sometimes, like, when you're not from there, yeah. people, like, gas it up to make it seem like, because I do that too. When people be like, Richmond, I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. not that bad. Like, you could walk to the store. You might get hollered at by some Mexicans, but you could still walk to the store. Like, it's not that bad unless you really, like, wrong place, wrong time, or you really with the shit, you know? Yeah. So, it's probably like that. We probably think it's heck of bad, but it's probably not. But y'all do have First 48 episodes, so first I'm just 48. saying. I'm just saying. Don't put me on on First 48, because I'm telling. <laughs> His name was Pookie, size 7 foot. He lives on uh, 18762 Broadway Street. Grandma name is Margaret. What else you need to know? Okay, thank you, officer. Am I free to go? Blur my face out and my voice. Period. And my whole body, because they Cause might I'm, know my body type. Too. Right, they might know. They're going to see my, my BBL looking body, and they going to know it's Panda. So, blur that out. And please blur this out, too, where I said to blur it out. What else you need to know? Cousins names, Monique, Tasha, Jerrica, anything else? I'm telling. The BBL body part, though? I think I'm stuck there, sis. <laughs> <laughs> baby my body looks like i got a bbl that's how thick i am and i don't know how many times i gotta tell you that i'm the p in period uh, i'm the d in desirable china sleep it. look talking about she reading the comments look at her damn it she woke up sis talking about she reading the comments you reading your eyelids <laughs> they was lit on y'all. They probably tired though. Shoot, they'd have been uh with y'all. There's more people on this one though. Cause she cuter. Uh, they came know. and they said, "Oh, Offset getting his hair." <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop making that joke. Okay, I really am. Cause I really do actually love you as a person. They don't hurt because they out school and work now. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, that's true. Dang. So she said you getting the little scragglers. I was just like, yeah, what happened? That's okay. I'll take what I can do. That's okay. You actually are cute, though. You wanna, are you trying to be my best friend? I'm trying to get a tip, sis. <laughs> what, you, what you mean? You beautiful. You, be you beautiful, girl. <laughs> you beautiful. Damn. This your angle. You so beautiful. I love your eyelashes. <laughs> girl, don't talk about these. Uh, the force be with you. Not a heck of cute. I like the... Uh, I like the curl pattern. If they was full. And your ears is nice. I love that earring. <laughs> is that from Pandora? <laughs> but somebody gonna get her. Please don't don't ever reach for my comb. <laughs> Alright, what's up with y'all? You ever had to do somebody's hair on your birthday? What? No. no. Why would I do that? Nah, my birthday is a national holiday, so you feel me. They say, get that tip. Advice for new braiders? I mean, uh, that's just like such a broad question. Don't give up. Charge your coin. Don't give up. Keep going. 
building a portfolio takes time being good takes time if you're someone who needs to learn quick or you like are a person who needs to make money right away remember it takes money to make money so invest in yourself take classes um i would highly recommend going to cosmetology school it just hits different when you could put a license in front of your name or behind it or in your bio um yeah, I mean, that's really all the advice that I have. Really charge with your worth. You know, when you're starting out, if you're charging $60, cool. But if you've been in the game for two years, you need to raise your prices. And if your quality is not where you need to raise your prices, then you need to pick another profession. Because after two years, you should elevate it. And you should not be charging $60 or $100 for box price. And I don't care where you live. And that's just on period. I do not list the best. I love paying that she speak. Her mind. What's the longest box braids you did? I did box braids to the knees before. That's the longest I did. I want to do it to somebody's ankles, though. But people just don't be about it. That is heck of long. That's heck of long. <laughs> how long, how long you had purple hair for? You should do a one B, rose gold T three fifty and one B. Okay, that's a lot to read. Um, I had purple hair for probably like a year. I dyed it. I had bleached it. Actually, I don't even know if it was that long. I had it for a minute, though. It was for sure some months. Maybe close to a year. You almost done, sis. It's that little head quality. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have purple hair no more. I actually really miss it, though. I was so close to, to uh, you know, doing the purple again, but I just didn't want my curls to be hecka damaged because I started seeing the natural curls, and they were hitting different. But when I grow my hair back out, I'm for sure going back to blonde. Because that just was super cute. Blondes just have more fun. Blonde, is, it just was hecka cute. Like, I was looking at old pictures like, oh, my God. I love this on me. You were supposed to cut your hair. You changed your mind, huh? No, I said if it don't do what I wanted to do, I'm going to cut it by 25. But uh -huh. I'll wait till probably 26. How do you, 23? Yeah. But I got to really take, try to take care of it. Your purple hair, purple hair was cute. Thank you. I miss it, y'all. I liked it because it was, like, different. And it actually looked good on me, but it just was different, you know? I feel like people would look at me with my purple hair and be like, oh, yeah, you do hair, huh? When I yeah. would go to the beauty supply. And I'm like, yeah. Because you do. can see when it's just, like, poorly done, and then you can see when it's done right. Because it's like, oh, okay, that actually, you know. Yeah. The stuff be looking sloppy and just like, ugh. Like you could tell they did it at home. Yeah, or just, yeah. ugh. People used to love my hair, my purple hair. I feel like you only had it for a second, then you cut all your hair off, right? Mm-hmm. I felt, that's why I said, at first I said a year, but I don't even think it was that long. Because I was in beauty school for a year, and I didn't have purple hair for, I cut my hair off before I got out of beauty school. So it couldn't have been a year. But it was like a cool, maybe like four, five, six months. I'm just like one of those people. I feel like you probably like this too. Like I just get bored easily. Mm -hmm. So I felt like as much as I love the purple, I was just ready to do something different. And that's why I cut it. And for a minute, I regretted cutting it. I was just like, why did I do this? And then I started loving it. And then I started getting bored. I'm like, dang, I want knotless braids. <laughs> so now I'm growing it back out. And I'm already thinking about what colors I'm going to do. And it's super healthy. I love it being healthy, but I'm already thinking about what colors I want to do when I grow it back out. Correction. I love your blonde bohemian feet and braids. Thank you. I miss those. Black people look immaculate with purple hair. Yes. We look good with anything damn near. Really I'm so happy I'm black. Man. I couldn't really imagine just being anything else. Yeah, that would have been like, wow. Like, for real, I really could, like, I'm hecka happy that I'm black. i just be like, yes, thank God. We just are, we're just an amazing. Did you like Goldwell? I'm not really sure what that is. You should get hair paint wax. I don't like the way it looks, though. I feel like it looks hecka fake. It looks yeah, it looks like chalky. Like, you could definitely tell it's fake unless you don't use a lot. Um, so I would just honestly go for it and just do it. I could grow my hair back out easily. So how are you wearing your hair for the wedding? I want to do like definitely natural hair because I felt like I had talked about this before, I think. But, um, when I look back at my high school pictures, you know how you take your like senior portraits, I have fake hair in my hair and it just wasn't me. Like I had a little bang <laughs> and some, I really did. I had like a bang and some fake hair and it just wasn't me. Like I just. It didn't really look like myself. And now that I look back, I'm just like, that's not even who I was. I didn't even ever wear fake hair. I think that was my first weave. 
So I feel like for my wedding pictures, I want to do something really natural so that way when I like look back, it's a representation of me. Like obviously I'm going to be in makeup, but I don't want to look back and be, I was kind of upset with my senior portraits. Like my hair was cute, but it just, it wasn't who I, who I was. So I think I'm going to do something natural depending on how long my hair is will determine what I do. How has it been sleeping with your braids in? Oof. I'm used to it now. Yeah, at first it was rough, but Panna, I just I said Panna, but China just bought me a, a braid bonnet, so I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be sleeping right. But I've just been like, literally, I've just been picking them all up and putting them up, you know, so they over me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't sleep on them, and that's really been it. Hmm. Rolled on. Not you sleeping. Oh no, you have. Yeah. Girl, no, my braids will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is the shorter. It's a little shorter. Can you take that other pack out for me? So y'all, this is ghetto. I have to. I have to switch to one B twenty seven here because, yeah, we don't have enough hair. So I'm just gonna use this. I wouldn't do this on a real client, but on her, I don't really care as much. <laughs> But it's going to be cute because we used the 30, so this is just a 1B27. It's just, you know, a little flash phase lighter, maybe 678. What's up, Dean? Do you know if you're brave script out? What? Why do you do hair? Because I want to make money. How do you get so fast and efficient? Yeah, I think it's a repetition. Like, y'all got to understand, I've been braiding hair for a while. Like, I just haven't really been sharing my work for a while. And when I was braiding, like I said before, I, like, tried to invest in myself. I All I did was box braids. So I just have that muscle memory. And then the way I prep really helps. Like, I prep before my client comes. Um, a lot of that really helps. I'll be trying to tell y'all like to try my prep method because people be trying to use all them racks and all of that. That's just not, it don't work for me. So I'm really old school with the way I prep, but it helps me. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, it's just when you're confident doing something, you just move a little quicker. So I feel like the more you do something, like pra really practice on your mannequin head, the more that you do something, the quicker you'll get at it. You know, it's like when you're a baby and you learn to walk and then you learn to run. And then when you get older, you know, you just running. You're not even thinking about it no more. And that's how box braids are for me. You know. Hey, Sanaya Lachey. That's cute. So I actually have a prepping video on my channel. I would stop to show y'all, but I have another client coming. So I'm trying to finish her. Um, but um, basically, like, I lay all of my pieces of hair out on the table like all of the hair that I'm going to be using for the style so that I don't have to stop. And that saves a lot of time. Like the hair does not tangle because I don't really use cheap hair, you know. I use nice hair. So I don't really worry about that. Um, and then that way I could just pull and go. I literally never have to stop. I don't have to take no breaks to prep hair or nothing. Like what I just had to do here, I only did that because we ran out of hair. But like for China, before she came here, her hair was prepped, you know. And I've done like all these styles long enough to know how much hair I'm gonna need. Sometimes I prep enough, sometimes I don't. I've used Queen Bee hair one time and it was cool. I'm not, uh, I'm not against it, but it's not my favorite either. I would probably have to use it a couple more times just to tell you how I like it. Cause I only used it that one time. I bought it off Amazon cause people had told me to use it. Um, so yeah, I do hair for people and I'm 14, that's what's up. Anytime you can start something young and perfect it young is better. I wish I, like, cared more. Or I wish I, like, invested in myself with hair more when I was younger. I did not want to do hair growing up at all. I was like, I'm not doing hair. And I used to tell people, like, don't tell nobody I did your hair. <laughs> I used to tell. No, for real, my cousin that uh, lives across the street from me, she was on my live one day. I, told her, I used to tell her all the time, don't tell your friends I do hair because I won't do your hair no more if you tell them. I used to hate it. I do hair for people when I'm 13, but mostly for Mama Bear. Oh, that's heck cute. Yeah. You said, are you nervous for the competition? Uh, I thought like I would be a little more nervous. I'm nervous just because I don't really like my work to be judged. Like number one, I don't like to lose. 
And number two, I'm just not like someone who likes to be under like the pressure of a competition. So I'm nervous in that aspect just because it's just not a good feeling when you create something and like you think it's hecka good and then somebody does something better and you like, damn, you know. So I'm nervous in that aspect just you know to share my work like in this type of setting for it to be like judged um but other than that not really i feel like me i feel like me and glenn by mary we're very like toe to toe with what we do like you know her work is super neat and stuff and same with mine so i don't really feel like i don't really feel like um i can't deliver you know but there's a, there is like a little bit of nervousness just because you obviously you want to win. I'm sure she feels the same like she wants to win. But she really like she really made me feel good because when she shared her post, she was like, oh, I'm going against one of my favorite braiders. And that's awesome to hear because I never really have met her before or talked to her outside of like the emails that we've sent back and forth for the competition. So I thought that was really cool um, and really humbling because you like, you know, you just don't think that people notice you until they say something and you're like, oh wow, like I would have never known that she ever even had seen my channel, you know, or known anything about it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But going into it, I'm just trying not to think of it as a competition. I'm just trying to push myself to um, create. And um, I feel like with competitions, like there are things that like, I feel like I wanna do, but, but other people may not get it. So I do have to kinda, you know, do something that I think people will get but I think y'all are gonna be really surprised with what I put out so um yeah so yeah that was and that was really awesome to see like when we first sent out the emails for um the competition like I had told her you know I was like I'm really honored to be going against you guys to be you know competing with you and stuff like I let her know like it's all love over here like at the end of the day it's a competition and I'm coming to win but I did want to let her know like I'm really honored to be going against you you know she's built a platform for herself too and you know that's like my braid sis so I think it'll be really fun but still really competitive because like I said we're both uh we're both good at what we do so we're good in different ways she's very neat and precise and I think I'm very creative so <clears throat> it'll be exciting it'll be really exciting to see what we both come up with i already know like i'm about to have y'all like okay panda you did your mother effing thing so um get some of that more i can't even talk i don't have any more of the brown hair and i feel like it looks contrasty to y'all but it's really not so what's the biggest part you did on box braids um probably when i do like jumbo Hey. Thank you so much for inspiring me to become a YouTuber. I understand your hardships now, but your inspiration. I'm 13 in Jambas. No clue on how to braid with the help of videos I'm learning. That's awesome. YouTube is like actually a lot harder than people think, which sometimes I get annoyed because it's just like, it's like, oh, you're a YouTuber. Like you just sit around and make videos. Like it's a lot that goes into it. And, and, um, and like, no, but I mean, I feel like that people think like, cause you know, you watch YouTube videos for entertainment. So I feel like people just like, oh, she, she keep can making, like, yeah, but there is a lot that goes into it, especially mentally. Cause you gotta think like when you get to um, like the numbers that I'm hitting, like think about having like thousands of people just constantly judging your work, talking about your work. Like it, the good comes with the bad, you know? So I feel like it's a lot more than people think it is. That's why I love when people start to do it and they're like, oh, like, how'd you get a following? Like, yeah, because it's actually hard. Like, you know. Does this look bad to you, Shana? With these two? Uh, it looks okay. Like yeah, I think it looks good. Like I think it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think it looks good. And you got to remember, too, that, like, uh, like when you're doing YouTube, you got to remember, like at first I feel like I was really trying to please everybody. Like people would be like, oh, I don't like your music. You should do this. And then I changed my music and another person would be like, I don't like that. You should do this. And then I got to a point where I realized like, I'm just going to do what I want to do, period. Because I'm not going to be able to please everybody. You know, you get out of that real quick. But in the beginning, I did try to really cater to what everybody wanted. And I just realized like, there's always going to be somebody. You got to please everybody. 
yeah, then it just got to a point where I was like, I'm just going to do me because at the end of the day, I'm not about to be fake trying to sound heck of, you know, this or that in my videos. Like, I'm going to just say what I want to say and you could like it or not like it. But <laughs> what time is it over there? It's probably 8, oh, 7.43. What time did my cousin say she left back? She's probably almost here now. Well, I told her 8, but she didn't even leave until 7 something. Yeah. So she gonna be a minute. It's, yeah, it's gonna be a minute. Yeah, it's hard, especially when you don't have a lot of subscribers. You almost feel like you're doing this work for why. Yeah, don't give up. I mean, don't give up. You know, it took like it took me a while, maybe like a year. It could be even more. At first, it's kind of weird because number one, you feel like who am I talking to? You know, if you're doing tutorials, it's like who am I talking to? Nobody is even watching this. Or you do a video and you'll be so geeked to post it. You're like, this video is so good, and it gets no views. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just like that or like it just don't get no views, you know, and it's kind of like you feel like, why am I wasting my time in doing this? But you could potentially blow, you know, but the talking to myself was really the thing because when I started doing tutorials, I used to be thinking in my head, like, who are you talking to? Because like two people are watching this and you one of those two people. So <laughs> it took some people 10 years, right? Honestly, you just never know. Like. I had posted a video and it just so happened to go viral. Like I did, I, you never really just know when it's gonna be your time. So just keep grinding, you know. But I wasn't doing YouTube full time either. I had another job, so that's the thing. You know, if you're trying to if you're trying to make a living off of it, you just know it's gonna take some time. So maybe have something on the side, you know. It took Jackie, Ina, eight years, child. Ooh, dang. I don't know if I got eight years, but I mean, look where she at. You know, it probably wasn't her full-time thing. Maybe she was working, like, Mac or something, and then she just blew. So, I, why did it take her so long, though? Was she not doing, like, makeup or what? I wonder. Are you going to go live on your next client? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm as bad as y'all want me to, no. I'm tired right now, and um, she has her kids with her. It's just a lot. So, probably not. But I'm going to try to go live with y'all more. I know y'all like for me to go live. It's just sometimes it's a lot, y'all. Because when I go live, it takes me longer to do stuff. And there's a lot of times when I'm just ready to sit down and watch Love After Lockup. YouTube is hard because people are never satisfied with what you give them. And it brings people's self-esteem down. Yeah. If you, like, when I started, I used to care more when people would write mean comments because obviously like just seeing like some of the stuff is really hurtful but at this point <laughs> i don't even care no more like i just realized like a lot of these people are just literally miserable sitting behind a screen like whatever you're you're saying or you think about me i really don't care when they come for people in my videos that's the only time i get hella mad honestly but most of those people what what he say I mean, you could run a special. Like, if you feel like your your prices are too expensive and people aren't rocking with it, you could run a special. You feel me? Run a special, and that's how you get people trapped in. I had ran a Knotless Box Braid special. I usually charge two forty for my medium, and I ran a special for one fifty, and I included a hair wash, right? And I got hella people booked it, right? Which is cool because that's a lot cheaper than what I would typically charge. And a lot of those people rebooked, and some of them didn't. Like, some of them tried to rebook, and I'm like, it's actually not 150, it's 240. I was running a special. So some of them stayed, and some of them left, you know? But that's just part of, that's the thing, you know? But once they saw the value, like, once I actually did it, and they're like, okay, like, I love these braids, they're hella neat. Some of them were actually willing to pay my price. And for the people that weren't, you know, we just had to part ways. Because some, some of them were like, 240, like, when did you have a price increase? Like, you didn't read. I bet you didn't left and went somewhere else and got bought it. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, like, that's like that's the thing. Like, the level that I'm at, I'm just, like, touching a different type of clientele. I'm not doing, like, there was a point where I was just trying to build, like, you, you know, do everybody's hair. Like, I'm just trying to build clientele. Like, I already have a clientele. So, you know, if I'm going to get you in, like, I have just there's certain expectations there's certain prices you're going to pay and by doing that i reach like a different level of people like i'm doing i'm i'm doing hair for like the business working class i'm not doing everybody cousin on the block like that's not the type of clientele i'm trying to reach 
Some people are like, I would never pay this. I would never pay that. Okay, well, yeah, you're just not going to be my client, and that's fine. Like, my goal is not to have 20 clients in a day. My, my goal is to have, like, my four or five clients who can show up and act right and are willing to pay. And, you know, and that's all that it is, you know? So, but, yeah, if, if, if you think oh, it's no, the prices, no, just run a special. It looks heck of good, huh? It looks so like, good, actually. Side, I really like it. On this side, it looks like mm-hmm. a girl it does it's cute it's like a highlight color i'm gonna let y'all see the bottom in a second i'm almost done how do you maintain care for box braids for two months mm-hmm. i'm actually gonna show you guys how i uh take care of mine because you know clearly I have box braids in so far i've only done like i've moisturized them and like did um some oil but i'm gonna show you guys how i clean them when it comes time you said north carolina where y'all at not up in here sis just kidding <laughs> but yeah um why it's not true you could run a special i think you do a good job of like uh of like promoting yourself like i always see you posting um doing braids and stuff another thing i think will help is like um i'm not even talking about you why it's i'm just talking about in general like try to keep y'all pages really professional when i started getting more clients they used to tell me like your page was really professional um just the way that i talk to people the way that like my booking goes, you know, like some people try to be on there how the braiders are like, don't show up, but this and that, like all of that don't really need to be said, you know? Um, so just keeping your page professional, making sure if it's a hair page, you're only posting hair. Um, like I said, talk to people correctly, be really professional with how your booking goes. When you're sharing your booking information, like try to download an app where you can make a cute poster or something and just make it look professional. That'll really help you, too, because people care about where they're spending their money. They really do. And that's things that I look at. Here he go again. What, what numbers is he doing? That's a new one. He got a page. He got an Instagram. He got an Instagram? I'm not about to play with him. What do your jumbo knotless look like? They're bigger than this. This is like a large size. Oh, it's, it's behind my purse. Because Cash was biting on it. The little black one? Yeah, it's behind my purse. It's bi- it's bi- it's <laughs> I love those braids. Can you do mine? Yes, y'all. Ooh, here we go. It should be behind the pillow with mine. So, yeah. Okay, so also some tips on, like, growing your clientele. Try to use hashtag, guys. So, wherever area you're in. So, for example, um, oh, she coming through Vallejo. We made perfect timing. Hey, baby, can you do me a favor? What's up? Can you put on my water kettle for me? It's in the kitchen. Thank, here thank you, you, my king. Time. Thank you, my king. You know, you got you to gotta throw that little in there so he feel like he's he important. Um, so, who, what about it? Okay. Uh, you look so stupid. She's like, what? Make sure you're using hashtags. So, I use, like, Cash, why are you barking, baby? I use like Bay Area Braider, Bay Area Hair, 510 Hair, like whatever your area code is. No, that's mine. Can you sit down so Cash don't bark, please? No, it be making my nerves bad. You're going to have to wait till the commercial break, baby. Right, baby. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to showcase my Wife Snatcher, what's your Instagram so we can follow you? Yeah, drop your Instagram. I think his Instagram is Wife Snatcher, ain't it? <laughs> but, but like, um, I've had plenty of rude clients. Um, but y'all got to understand, too, like, building clientele and stuff like that, it takes time. Trying to want to show y'all her <laughs> stupid braid product. Really? Why are you snapping? Hey, why you because. Why you put yourself in the camera, though? They need to see Because I wasn't done. I was going to inch this in and then come in, and she's talking about. <laughs> okay, this is what I was trying to do. Because you're trying to show them that brave, that stupid <laughs> brave sheen. 
<laughs> Why she do my face? No, but you gotta have she's, a whole. She's so geeked about that. I that. to go get one and it smelled good. And I was like, who did I do? Uh, the tray that I use, I'm not really sure what it's called. I got it off Amazon. But if you type in like cosmetology tray, it'll pop up. Yeah, it'll pop up. Yeah, and it's after eight, sis. So you're not getting no appointment. Well, I want the solution because I'm not finna. I'm not on her time. Like, no. Stop being rude. Uh uh. You a rude client. Now when my now when my uh purchase was not. No. Stop being mean. Be quiet because she could be in his life. She not. Yeah, Bro, she really I'm not. Still at my house shit. <laughs> eating my food. She really still there. So yeah, wife snatcher. Um, he yeah, does a good job like servings. posting. Had three servings. There's almost gone. What? I just see something on the way. What's she make, gumbo? Oh, Some rose. Ugh, oh. don't nobody want that. Oh, you never had an animal roast, baby? Oh, the roast? I thought that she was making that. I don't want nobody roast. It just don't sound good. And can you turn that down? That's copyright. Thank you. This is not a song. <laughs> don't write that out. <laughs> so, what's up with y'all? Y'all got any uh, more questions? Because okay. we about to get I'm off in a second. Lil Wayne and Drake in a versus battle. Come on now. Why would they do that? Did a lot of people support you doing hair? Uh, yeah. Like, I have really supportive parents and just family members in general. So, when I told him I wanted to do hair, I could tell, like, when I had got laid off from my job, I could tell my dad. When I told him I wanted to do YouTube, he didn't really understand it. I could tell he was just like, do what? Like, but now that the paycheck's coming in, he's like, oh, yeah, you need to stop doing hair and only do YouTube. But, yeah, my parents were pretty supportive, especially when I told them I was going to go to school, you know. So, you, you could tell her, never mind. We'll just come in the morning. I didn't know it was 7.54. I thought it was still, like, 7.30. Yeah. Can you come to Charlotte? Yes. Why y'all getting off? Because I'm done with her hair. This is my last braid. I have to do my client's hair, y'all, and she bringing all her kids. I said my client, my cousin's hair, and she bringing all her kids, and it's just a lot. I'm ready to be done. So. She wants knowledge box braids. She's gonna help me though, cause she braids too. So she's gonna help me braid down. So it's really gonna oh, take. take yeah, it's not gonna take that long. Yeah, it's gonna take me like literally an hour and a half at the, if that. So. What kind of hair do you use? I typically use expressions hair. There's sometimes where I'll use like Africana, but that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, boo. What are some good braiding gels? You could try Lock In. Shining Jam is probably my favorite. Um, I have clients who have sensitive scalps, so for them, I have to use Murray's Edge Wax. That's definitely not one of my go-tos, but for them, you know, if I have to use it, I'll go with that. And that's pretty much it. It's not going to take that live go that long go live with it, y'all. Y'all don't understand, okay? I said she's bringing all her kids, not one, <laughs> all. Okay, so. It needs to, y'all know how, uh, yeah. Next question. Do you like pre-stretch? Yeah, I'm using pre-stretch now, but if I'm doing a longer style, I don't like pre-stretch because I feel like it either gets hella thin at the bottom or it's just not long enough. Does anyone want to support small businesses? I'm starting soon. I can't even read what that was. What is your happiest moment in achieving your goals? My happiest moment is when um, I have like long-term goals that I feel like I've achieved. So for like, example like graduating cosmetology school but the ultimate like happiness for me is when i feel like my parents are proud that's like when i really feel like damn i'm doing the damn thing that really that makes me happy whatever. it's real like can you pass me that shining that uh magic finger up there the skinny one at the top no the red bottles yes let me see it yeah that's the edge control i'm using put it on the table for me <laughs> thanks Oh. I didn't say Shodan. That could have been a secret and you just exposed. Just kidding. It's not even a secret. What? Dang, y'all type too much. <laughs> you know I mean, y'all type too fast. They, school, they English skills. Is I got into right school now. in Hawaii and I'm leaving in a week. Any pointers? Oh my God. What school? I went to school in Hawaii. Oh my God. What school? Hawaii Pacific or University of Hawaii? You oh, you are going to love it. I, uh, I went to Hawaii Pacific University. I went to private school. Would you move back? 
Yes, I would move back. I'll but move back. I'm moving on but I would move back, but not right now. I would have to retire. I braided right hair now. in college, but not for money. Like, I would just do my friends. I'm that I had my little friends out there. I got my ticket to go. Yes, I told you my best friend. My I'm best friend that's there. Cambodian. No, not that old best friend. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one the birthday you just. Left. Yeah, the birthday. I met her in Hawaii, and then the one I just Facetime. Uh -huh. That's I met her in Hawaii too. Uh -huh. I'm, moving, yep. I'm moving out there. I'm going out there next. Month. Do you have a website with your pricing? Yeah, www.styledbybray.com. What? I'm looking at houses out there. I'm going next month. In Hawaii. Yeah. What what island are you going to? With school, how do you know how many pieces to put in? I put in four pieces all the time. All the time. But you, you'll you know because you can look at the thickness of the braid and you can also feel it. Mm-mm. It's some Rona outside. It's some Rona outside. I put that all in your ear, huh? Let's see. Salon tray. Thank you, Slay Lord. If you type in, if you literally type it in on uh, Amazon, though, it'll pop up. She said Pacific. I said Hawaii Pacific. I went to HPU. Hawaii Pacific, black and blue, national champs, HPU. But now it's the sharks or something like that. The shark. Uh, the fact that yeah, you just changed. did the whole little. That's our, that was our chant. Hawaii How Pacific. The affected you in a positive way. The pandemic. The pandemic. I feel like it helped me because people um, more people. That. No, for real, more people were on YouTube, so like my my money kind of went up from that. So that was kind of cool. Where Bree the Gemini? If one more person asks about where's Bree, and her yeah, Bree is that when home. you jump out, she no when she jump out, you jump in. Never remember people say used to say that. I like that. In her skin, when you jump out, she when she jump out, you, you jump, jump in. in. Yeah. I'm about to start saying that. She is though. Okay, edges. The the two uh, licks of the them. two suets. I want to make these a little cleaner on this side. Is that pot of water done? Can you look? It's right by the microwave. Look, I got China in here working. Period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> this edge control is actually um, Sasha Harris's. The Shining Jam Magic Fingers, Edge Magic. I love it. My at home setup, the chair was probably like 260. The mat was probably like 100 because I have like a big mat. And then my tray was probably like 40 bucks. The kettle was probably, how much was that kettle? Like 20 bucks, if that. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need. No, because I was really surprised. Should I use that dookie towel on her? Yeah. <laughs> Like the Duke, yeah. First of all, why is this under me, baby? What? It's stuck in the chair. Can you move? Ooh, y'all, y'all don't want to see the back of uh cotton butter. <laughs> Ooh, you why are you hating? Why are you hating? Why are you hating on me? Ooh, put the put the put the put the tray on there and leave me alone. Right. See y'all, it don't look that bad with her uh different colors. Can you look in the mirror and stop looking at yourself? You're not going to get no kids or Do you want me to look in the mirror? Or you want, what do you want me to do? Because you said, can you look in the mirror and stop looking at yourself? Did I say that? Yes, ma'am. You knew what I meant. I did. I followed directions. Okay. You need some rain spray? No. You want, you want to use that so bad. All right. So they, fun, they said, pretty. have you tried instant control with hands control? Yeah. <laughs> she tried Insta Control Hair Control, y'all. I did, but it turns white. We just talked about that because I used to braid her hair with that. Ooh, my knees. Ooh. She old. I don't have to old. You're going to have to help me up. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have Did you want some, some beads or something at the end of these, or are you just going to leave it? We were supposed to do curly ends, but it's okay. She's going to be back, y'all, in like a week or two. How long? You can put beads on a couple of them. You still got some brown ones? Yeah, I got brown ones. They, they're, I think they might be smaller, though. But I have some big ones. like some. Mm -hmm. You just don't want it on all of them, huh? Yeah, you can do a couple. Like, Why are they heavy? Uh, I just don't feel, yeah. They're not heavy. I just don't feel like have, having them big ones. You want me to see if I have curly hair? Let's see. It ain't, it ain't a big deal. If these are quicker, that's fine. These are quicker. You just want it on a couple. We could just, we could make them like look cute. Yeah, that's cute, baby. You break, you braid it up. So come on, beat it up, girl. Weave it up, shoot. What's your name? Uh, 
what she say? What tips do you have for upcoming braiders? Girl, I answered this question five times. How many times y'all gonna ask me that? Maybe she just came in. You need to get your own shop. Me? I don't want my own shop. For me to have my own shop, that means I would actually have to like, no, I just, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> I'm not interested. There's a lot that goes into owning a shop that I don't. Like, the shop I'm in right now is perfect. Like, what I have to pay to be in there is fabulous. I'm lucky. So, I'm just not interested. Plus, like, I plan on traveling. So, like, me just having a shop, it's just not, it's you not know, necessary. You keep the lights on or be leaving. Yeah, like, I just, it's not necessary. All right, let me see. I'm not putting no mousse on her hair because, no. She don't got the hair that could do that, that you could do that on. Absolutely. It'll like revert and yeah, all reverse. of that. Reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs> that thing does not like water. My bad, my neck and my bad. Oh, I got these beads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna put beads on a couple, y'all. Oh, oh. <laughs> you didn't do your... You should do some. You don't want a couple white beads or clear? Look, I got the clear big ones. Okay, Look through there. Hey, you already know. Like oh, she should ones. get some of these, huh? Yeah, yeah. The brown ones. The brown ones are hecka small, though. You want those small ones? No, these. What? Oh, the big ones? Okay. You don't have a lot? You just want it on a couple? Yeah, just up here. Mission I don't care. Yes. You, need to, you need to know what you, you want when you come things. in. Look at these. That's what I said. Those are hecka cute. Actually, no, I want them for myself. Okay, oh, you're gonna have to pick. These is cute. I like these. Where do you go? Okay, like what about these? these? What about these? Girl, what does it look like? Oh, them is cute. This look like a dinosaur egg. I like these. Match them. With so you trying to take all my good beads? Okay, you y'all pick them out. I'm not about to be picking out no beads. Bro, yeah. you want these too? Yeah, that's fine. What the hell was on there? She don't know what she wanted at this point. You like these? If it's brown and No, I like these. Look, these are hecka cute though. This is something I would put on myself. This song go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine. Dre, <laughs> He's stupid. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do these myself because I feel like this is gonna be cute. Yeah. Okay. Give me this. Okay, so, 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 wait, hold on, let me see. I gotta see how when I put these on. I already know what I'm about to do. Hold on, let me see how when I put these on, what's gonna happen. Damn it. <laughs> That's funny? Because I will pull your curly pieces out. Okay, let me see. Dang, why can't I get this? Hold on. Okay, so the brown is gonna be on top. Okay. So whatever I put is gonna be on top. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. We gonna put this on there, y'all. And then we gonna go one, two. We just need shades of brown. Let me get a black in there. Three, four. Yeah, that's cute. And then I'm gonna put this again. Like that, that's hecky cute. I like that. Come on, Panna. I like that. And we only gonna do this on a couple. Be quiet, please, cause you you distracted me with that. He had. You know said he was saying say that for like almost a minute. He was. That's hecky cute. Wow. That's cute. Okay, so we are gonna do this. But we're not gonna do it to all of them. But I got something else for the rest of them. Not the rest of them, but like we gonna do this on a couple. We're not doing that on. Yeah. I like that. God, dog. That's cute. God, dog. Come on, Pena. Come on. 
This is cute. I don't care which. I don't even, I'm not even reading y'all comments because this is cute. And I don't need y'all to tell me otherwise. P That's hecky cute. Yes. Okay. So we did one there. We need two. How many can we do? Oh, we can only do three. I should have yeah. that in the middle. Okay. We're going to get one in the front. Well, we don't have to put two on all of them, huh? Mm -hmm. Just put one? You don't have to. One. That could just be a special one. <laughs> Dre, if you don't stop singing that song. Three. Y'all hear him singing. It just don't, it don't hit the same without two of them, though. Go and throw that second one and do whatever you're going to do to say it. Nah, 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 between nah. Them, I need to do, I need to, nah. It's just going to have to be without. Out. Yeah. That make it different, though. It just look different. It just look different. It hit different. I wish I had more of these. How much was the hair tray? Where did you get it from? I got it off Amazon. Um, was, it was, in the comments, they, I think it was like it. 40 bucks. 67. Oh, 67? Okay, maybe. I don't know. I'm just making up numbers. It wasn't heck expensive, though. It wasn't. It was, And it's worth it. That's cute. I kind of like it better with the two, but this will work. It ain't hitting the same. It ain't hitting the same without two, China. I, like I told you I like the two, but it'll work. Look it. It just look weak. No, we got to put two. Take it off. It's not looking the same. Oh, there go my cousin. Hello, boo. What's up, boo boo? Hi. I'm surprised my dog ain't barking at you. <laughs> Who you got with you? Oh, uh uh. And don't call my dog no mutt. You only brought her. You only brought her safe? No, Oh, they have money stuff. I don't know. I told my dog to come check in because I was late. Oh, it's cool. We actually need.